No. Hello. 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 Um. Hi. Hello. Konbanwa. <laughs> no thank you, Dan Sevi, to Ryaten no Hakia. This. Good evening. It's your son, Raven V2. Ryaten no Hakia. And we are playing Reverse Collapse, the second demo for the Stream Strategy Fest. They didn't really put out the news for this until just this morning. I really wish they, uh, the Twitter page, right? I wish uh, Make a Team's, um, uh, their PR, PR pages put out some news before this start. But no, this is a demo. The game's not out yet. This is just an improved demo. So it's the same as what I played last time, except they added more stuff to it because uh, people said that the story was too confusing. So they wanted to add a prologue to it, so to like, you know, get you filled in on the story. Because like before, it just sort of just puts you in the middle of things instead of telling you um, what exactly is going on, right? It just expects you to know what's happening because it expects you to have played Girls Frontline, which is a prequel to this. Uh... <laughs> but yeah. I am super excited. They added new gameplay elements. They decided to make the tutorial less um, handholdy and, and give you more options for stealth. So I am excited to see what happens. Also, I'm playing on Challenge Plus hard mode. I won't go for S rank like last time because that just took way too long to do. So we're just gonna see how far we can go today in Challenge Plus. If the game will let me. I don't know if they'll... It, it should. It should. But yeah, how, how are you guys doing today? How are you guys doing today? We are going to be playing hard mode. Suitable for players with lots of experience. Uh, in turn-based strategy games. And are up for a challenge. Enemies were more powerful and numerous. Enemy will spawn more elite units. Certain missions are more difficult to accomplish. And you cannot save. There's no saves coming. You cannot save the game mid-battle, you can only reload at specific checkpoints. Which honestly is still very... It's very easy. <laughs> Compared to the original game, uh, this is still very doable. In Challenge Plus mode, the game will only be auto-saved at key points during battle or by force quitting during the rest of the game. Enable? Yes. Let's see, turn on tutorials. When turned off, no tutorials appear. Well, you know what? We can turn on the tutorials, just in case you guys didn't see it last time. Hello, Nostromo. How's, go how's it going? Good luck? I don't need luck, okay? I know how to play this game. I am a master strate strate strategist. I was about to say strategian, like surgeon. <laughs> how's it going, Nostromo? <laughs> All right. Sixty-two. Oh yeah, this is new. Strategenary. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm no mere plebeian. I'm a strategenarian. <laughs> I am above the Praetorians. <laughs> Sixty-two years have passed since 2030 and the Balan Island incident. It was an age of the a bit. Oh, I'm. <laughs> I forgot my water. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a moment. I only just got home. Give me a moment. Supreme Hyper Giga Shogun. <laughs> Our troops are retreating. What a dishonorable display. Wait, no, it's what a shame for display. The game's a little bit loud. Uh, turn that down. Tell me if the sound is okay, alright? I didn't do a sound check, so, so please do tell me if the sound is alright. Uh, if the levels are good, if the music is too loud, if the sound effects are too loud, if my voice is too quiet. 
that's not rude at all. In fact, I appreciate it when people tell me the sound is no good. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. All right, all right, all right. So, so it was an age of the abyss. No one, no one wants to talk about anymore, yes. And yeah, to anyone who hasn't played this game, just watch me and you will learn fast. I am, I am uh, the best. <laughs> Sound is fine, oh, awesome, sweet. All right, all right, all right. War and disease have taken many lives. The living still face shortages of energy and food. Collapsed radiation imprisons humanity. And the future seems to be nothing but darkness. The text could be a little bit higher. It's kind of really low. They could have made the text a little bit higher. Um, unwilling to give in to the reality, people fled to Antarctica. Yes, because that's, that is where you go when the world has ended. When, when the entire Earth is, is being covered in collapsed radiation clouds, turning places into deserts overnight. You go, where do you go? You go to Antarctica. <laughs> there they built a new nation that was ahead of its time. As hope spread, more and more countries began to unite with Antarctica. So this is, I guess this is Hollow City. So this is actually at the bottom of a, cr of a crater. They never actually t tell us how big Hollow City is, but like, considering that it is just one city, uh, it can't be that big, right? <laughs> The Antarctic Union was then established, becoming the last stronghold for mankind. Yeah, <laughs> take that, URNC. The globalists lose. The former superpowers had weakened. In order to protect themselves, the powerless elites formed the Union of Rosartris Nations Coalition. That's still really hard to read. The gathering of power contributed to the rise of the URNC. Its every move impacts human destiny. Look, it's it's the shining beacon of the New York world, except it doesn't look so shiny. It looks kind of grimy. Um, this is not a good look. Originally, we had hoped that we could jointly shoulder the heavy responsibility of promoting the survival and development of mankind. Unfortunately, the old rulers refused to let go of their pride. So, Neo-Soviets, Germany, USA are in your... Yes! Um, so in Girls Frontline 1, URNC basically consists of the what's left of the United States, uh, Eastern Coast. Um, if Ferrari is in the chat, please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, it consists of the East Coast USA, as well as Western Europe. And through the story of Girls Frontline 1 is about... Like, the main story of most of Girls Frontline 1 is about the Neo-Soviet Union basically being forced to join the URNC, but like trying to maneuver with conspiracy and politics to get a good deal out of it so that they can basically have more power inside the URNC. Because they have to join no matter what. It, the URNC is the new global government. Unf yeah. So, and you know, it'll get explored more in Girls Frontline too, which actually will come out after this game so it, it'll be interesting seeing you know as well know, we know what happens after girls frontline 2 we just need to know like what happens in between right the same mistakes that led humanity into the abyss were repeated again and again a new war began and the confrontation between the au and the urnc pushed the world to the edge again we must win the war and save the world from the horrors of the urnc yes we're gonna save it from the globalists you're gonna save it from from the Earl. <laughs> Earl Griffin. Or is it Duke Griffin? Or is it Sir Griffin? We don't know. The translation uh, is a little bit wonky. <laughs> and the demo for the translation for the demo last time for this game was really bad. I will not sugarcoat it. Make a team like they they had a really bad translator for for this game. For the demo last time. I hope they fixed it because it, it was not a matter of editing because so much was wrong. So much was wrong. Even, even though I I didn't even see the original text, I could tell from all the you know context things that it was very bad and it was not something that an editor could fix. They needed a whole new translator overall. Kaiser Griffin. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
According to the latest energy uh, information from MID Intelligence, we found that the URNC is working on the development of relic technology. Once these technologies are completed, they are likely to be used by the URNC as weapons of mass destruction. We must stop the URNC's plot. Intelligence indicates that a key person involved in the relic technology experiments in the Caucasus is trying to escape. The loss of this person would be a major disruption to the URNC's technical research. Because they even have futures like cities. Yeah, they do. They have they have cyberpunk dystopian cities. They have the what they have the clean cities, right? The green areas. Or no no, it was the white areas. The white areas are considered like the cream of the crop, the cleanest places, zero radiation. Uh, only the rich people can live there. And they're all ring cities, right? So there's like the inner ring, the outer rings. There's the green zones, which are basically the clean areas, but they're not that fancy. And then there's the yellow zones, which are basically uh, the wilderness and the countryside. Still, There's still contamination, but it's somewhat livable. You only have like, what, a 10% chance of getting cancer or something. And then there's the red zones where you will die. You just straight up will die. Uh, unless you're wearing some heavy hazmat suits. And after that is the black zones, which is... Um, 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 nobody knows what happens in the black zones. The black zones is, you don't want to go there. there there's radiation storms. Uh, there's kaiju. Uh, don't go there. You're going to die instantly. <laughs> we become zombies, yes. You either die of, of elid cancer or you die of elid cancer and then become a zombie. Um, or be, or no, no, no. You become a zombie while you're still alive, which, yeah. <laughs> this, uh, this, the URNC is also understood to have noticed this person's departure. However, because they do not have accurate information, the, UR, the URNC troops are conducting a blanket search in the area. We need to find this person before the URNC does. Make sure they're safe and bring them back to Antarctica. Stealth and swiftness are key to the success of this operation. The code name for this operation is Bakery. I hope we can bring fruitful results to the U to the AU. All right, we're on the we are on the the good to, the good guy. We are the good guys, okay? We're basically the Americans in modern warfare. All right, so we've already got this stuff. Um, they throw lore at you. They throw lore at you. Set scene tech, just eat your heart out. Um, first thing that happens, we <laughs> get the lore glossary. Let's see. Eastern contamination control area, civilians formed a monitoring organization to treat contamination zones. It usually worked as a third party. So it's an NGO. It doesn't, it's not a government organization. Working closely with the URNC, they have assisted in the management of multiple regions. Yeah, we know that already. Refugee aid program. Da, 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 da. It's to help. The aim is to help yellow civilians in the yellow zones and war zones to build a new life in green zones. Uh, that's the promise, but they're in, in truth they're very slow, and you might get shot up in the process by some trigger happy guards. <laughs> Julie, hey Julie. Oh, Julie, sa, konbanwa, konbanwa. Yeah, ima wa asa kana. Oh, hi, y'all. Well, you came to say, hey, say, hey, say hi to before bed. Before bed? Are you? Have you been staying up really late? Shouldn't it be like really early morning for you? Ah, ma. Oyasumi, Jiri san. You sleep at night. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, good night, good night. Thank you for thank you for saying hello. I really appreciate it. You sleep in morning. Oh my goodness. Daisobu? Sore te daisobu desu ka? Asan asanet asaneru to ka? Ma. Anyways, um the the program aims to help civilians in yellow zones. Yeah, and you might die in the process of being taken to the green zone, but hey, that hasn't stopped um, people in in the real world, right? We have, you know, refugees have been known to cross oceans and deserts, um, and you know, armed guards 
in order to make a better life. Uh, I guess it's especially pressing if the place you're living has uh, zombies and kaiju that will that will kill you. <laughs> zombies and kaiju and collapsed radiation storms. Leaving the yellow zones is pretty much a... It, there's a lot of motivation to want to leave. <laughs> a vampire. Oh, so ne. Kyuketsuki-san. Kyuketsuki-san. Hakken. Tukoi. But no, I actually... I kind of do that too, don't I? Oh yeah, stay up. Sometimes a little later than I should. Let's see. Global in International Humanitarian Organization. Yeah. Yeah, their work is to escort refugees, so they're an NGO. Um... In the 2090, the organization operates crawl across the Eurasian and like the ocean with 9,000 employees and 28,000 registered members. Right, they, here they tell you about the contamination zones. Uh, yeah, there's two types of green zones. The first is large areas with no contamination that are not important to be transformed into white zones. These areas are often considered satellite cities of white zones. Other type is areas that have undergone decontamination. Uh, and so that's part of the big agreement between the URNC and the Neo-Soviet Union. Their whole deal was that they were going to decontaminate the area from eastern Poland to west, basically, Ukraine. Uh, yes, because that entire area is still red and yellow zones, I believe, in Girls Frontline. Okay, it looks like they actually fixed up a lot of the English translation. That was mainly what I was checking for, that they fixed a lot of the syntax. And it seemed the syntax is fine. Uh, there might still be a little, uh, some awkward English wording, but you know, as long as people understand, because this game is all about story, and it, if a game is that's all about story, does not have understandable English, that's that's probably a problem, huh? All right, all right. Antarctic Union, Un city Union Mechanics is a city founded to facilitate the scientific study of a relic in Antarctica. Do, 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 do. They, uh, they found the relics of the relic arch archaeology site in a spacious cavern under the Ant Antarctic ice cap. Yeah, so in 2045, World War III broke out. So for self-preservation reasons, they decided to go the Swiss route and uh, close off the country. Although, unlike the Swiss, they don't run any offshore bank accounts. At least we don't know. They entered a 20-year blackout period by sealing off all access. And then the rest of the world sort of just forgot they existed. Because, oh, they're just some, like, random city in Antarctica. It turns out they became a super advanced sci-fi civilization. They rescued a cruiser, and then, you know, the AU and the URNC decided to cooperate. But then people realized, hey, the AU is actually really good at not exploiting us like the globalists are, the researchers globalists. They're actually helping us. And they decided to join the AU instead. And the URNC took this as a threat, and then that began the first URNC-AU Antarctic War. So, we are... the current year is 2092, and we are in the midst of the first Antarctic War. And we're trying to track down Subject G-179, Jeffy. Alright. I'm not gonna read this story too much. I'm gonna breeze through it because, well, we've, I've already read it in the last demo. Though I'll, you know, I'll try to go through it as quick as possible. Story of suffering. No, 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 no. Poke, there is no suffering here. This is a story of love and hope. Love and hope. There is, there is no suffering. Don't, don't, don't say that. Um, I guess it's this NGO set up to have the Griffin T dolls have a happier ending. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Uh, they they uh, made GFL too because they were like, oh my goodness. They read, they read some anonymous um, sad stories about how Girls Frontline One ends, and they're like, oh, this is this is pretty bad. <laughs> Let's actually give them something so they don't get all depressed. <laughs> 
Anyways, uh, this morning, chairman of Eastern Decontamination Control Association, blah, 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 refugee aid program. According to the prov, report, approximately 2,000 refugees have already been evacuated. All right, here's our our buddy, Captain Carl. This is Fox Two One, hailing Razor. Please respond. And here is our best friend, best boy, Javon. He's the best boy. He's extremely overpowered, and he's also just got the. He's the nicest guy in the story, I think. <laughs> Razor here, we copy. Please report. Fox 2 1 over. Also, he keeps a life size cutout of his waifu. <laughs> Fox 2 2 has acquired the bakery. Uh, we will rendezvous and proceed to extraction point 3 as planned. Please ensure the safety of the delivery. Over. Razor copies. The extraction point is secure. Awaiting your arrival. Stay sharp. And here's here's our, our our good boy, our our good boy. He's a very good boy. Uh, he's not the best boy, but he is the goodest boy. Tessa is already standing by at the extraction point. Our lift will be here soon. Mendo, you all right? I'm fine, Captain. Just a slight, slightly bit uneasy. Okay, that's bad. That's bad syntax, I believe. Slightly bit uneasy. Uh, should just be just a slight bit uneasy. Uh, don't need the ly. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to town on the Discord, reporting all these grammar errors. <laughs> the operation turned out quite differently than I imagined. Relax, young man. MID agent doesn't have to kill every day. Instead of worrying about nothing, do something about your accent. Hearing you talk always makes me worry would be exposed. Yeah, because they're undercover as as refugee rescue workers. That's what they're wearing. The, the clothes they're wearing is refugee rescue outfit. And yes, the gun is also a refugee rescue... Um, part of the res refugee rescue uniform. Why? Because there's there's monsters and, and, and elids out there. <laughs> You'll get used to this soon enough. Rule number one of being an agent. Your head is your strongest weapon. Were all previous missions carried out at this pace? Wish every mission went this smoothly. Thanks to the intel from our informant, we know that you and C won't be patrolling. All we have to do is bring the goods to the extraction point. Might even make it back in time for a drink. That is... that You should never say stuff like that. I hear bakery is a... Rule number two. Don't ask questions that are not for you to ask. Sorry. Still, you'll see for yourself soon enough. Your job is to keep bakery safe. Understood. You're exactly your, like your old man. You might as well be a clone of Phillips. Oh my god. Knowing knowing that girl's frontline writing, he might actually just straight up be a clone. <laughs> you know what would be a crazy twist? Cause we learned that um we learned that 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 Mendo, his mother is uh what was it? His mother is a is a what was her name? Basically his mother comes from the same family as the main villain of, of Girls Frontline 1, and actually the, the main villain of this game, too. So, yeah, he might be a clone. My father, huh? He's been missing for so long, can't recall much about him. All I have left of him is his pendant. Enough chit-chat. Fox 2-1 to Fox 2-2. Two, two. We'll reach a destination. What's your status? And here is, uh... He's actually a new character. We've He was not in the original Bakery game. I... <laughs> he just, he looks like, what was it? J.C. Denton? <laughs> or what was it? Jensen. I don't... Is it Denton or Jensen? There's two of them. But he's, yeah, he's, he's basically the guy from <laughs> Deus Ex. <laughs> Human Revolution. Fox 2 2 here, copy that. We made it to the prearranged rendezvous. The cargo is in great condition. Maintain your position and secure the place. We'll be over. Alright, perk up. 20 minutes later. We're almost there, aren't we? Just 10 minutes away on foot. Isn't it time for a scheduled check in? It's overdue. But 2 2 hasn't gotten in touch. Fox 2 1 to Fox 2 2. Fox 2 1 to Fox 2 2. Fox 2-1 is about to reach your target location. What's your situation? Over. Why is it just static? Anderson? 
Captain, I think I saw several figures flitting about in the mountains. Are Fox Tutu and his team here already? Hold on, something's not right. On your guard. What was that? Damn it, RPG! Engine got shot. <laughs> Bulletproof glass isn't gonna hold on for long. Yeah, in this case, right, being inside a car is not gonna help you. Uh, you need to get out. You need to get out. It is actually harder to shoot you when you're not in a car. So, um, our friend Watson's truck, our poor Watson got blown up. He is, uh, he's roast hamburger. These are soldiers from the URNC. Was our route leaked? All right. So we got a tutorial. Yeah, yada yada. We know how to do this already. Skip this tutorial. See if they changed anything. Uh huh. Pantaresa still looks really cool. Okay, so this is, this stuff is basically still the same. All right. Actually, I need to move my head a little bit. Give me a second, because in this game, um, if you see the bottom right, that's really important. That's basically the um, the bottom right is basically telling you about the terrain. Each tile has its own terrain type, so certain terrains are going to offer you accuracy or evasion bonuses and they also make you depending on the terrain you might have to use more action points to move through them or yeah to move through them so anyways we're gonna go ahead and move into the forest like the game wants us to yeah they saw through our disguise so easily couldn't they see we're just refugee aid rescuers <laughs> how did they know so here's our, our best friend, Captain Carl, uh, kind of getting on in the years. But yeah, he's got the Flying Lizard SMG, which I think is a really cool looking gun. And you can't see it because my head is blocking. Uh, <laughs> I need to figure out a way. <laughs> All right, my head is small enough now. <laughs> my head is small enough. All right, uh, let's, let's do this. Let's do this. All right. Okay, so... We're going to go ahead and end the turn. XCOM, right? XCOM. That's exactly it. Nah, it's fine. I don't need luck. This game is made not for luck, but for... Uh, it's not made with luck in mind. It's made with skills and smarts. In Girls Frontline 2, they actually remove the uh, percentage hit chance. All attacks will always hit. It's just that certain attacks will hit more or less depending on cover. Which, you know, it's... it's. I'm, I'm feeling kind of iffy about that. I haven't played the game myself, so I don't know yet. But I... I'm not a big fan of the idea at the moment. So we shot twice. We're out of action points. So we have no choice but to end turn. Can believe I will attempt to play this on the ancient war computer. All right. <laughs> well, I hope your your <laughs> hope your work goes well, and that the the, the com that the game works on your computer at work. <laughs> All right. So the radio is broken. We can't contact Anderson. Hopefully, he's not dead. Because that would suck. But anyways, we need to go get the radio. Or rather, Mendo has decided to get the radio. Even though it's kind of stupid. Carl's like, oh, have you gotten barking mad? We can tell. Get your ass back here. Found it. Thank God it's still in one piece. Mendo, get down. Like, these trucks are not future sci-fi trucks. These trucks are just regular rescue, refugee rescue trucks. 
So they're not that well armored. What the? Yo, what's going on? Yo. This is different. This is very different. Mendo looks older here. I'll be honest, as a safe scumming XCOM player GFL2 being always online with no saving before each shot. Not having... I mean, yes. There was actually a rewind feature in XCOM... Uh, not XCOM... In Girls Frontline 2. There's a rewind feature. So you can actually turn back the, the turns. Not build forward tough. Unfortunately not. No, it's built more like, um... What is it? What would you... What would a good way to... Hmm. It's built more like a little... Well, this is in Neo-Soviet Germany. Neo-Soviet, right? This is the Neo-Soviet Union. So, it's it's more like a... What do they call those? A Lada? Uh, yeah, it's more like a Lada. <laughs> Russian Lada. Sorry, I'm sorry, Russia, Russians, if I have any Russian viewers, but like... You, you gotta admit, the Lada is not exactly a very... It's not exactly known for being fancy or robust. So uh, we're having a bit of a schizo moment here. Um, everything's... There's red flesh everywhere. And weird distortions. Mendo, is it over? So these are all... Uh, these are all Antarctic Union. I guess they're Tassa troops. So these are the cream of the crop and everyone's dead! Everyone's dead! My friends are all dead. What, what's going on? Jefty? Unknown girl. Mendo. I told you not to come back. Are you hurt? <laughs> oh no! Oh no, it was a trap! Who... Who are you? What? Don't you recognize me? I'm the one you care about the most in the whole world. Shut up! You know you don't deserve it. Okay, that's probably a bad translation. You can run, but you can't hide. The Shrike artificial can even mimic this. Okay, that's probably also bad trans. God damn it, Nika. This one is stronger than the previous enemies. I have to get the giant viper back before I can deal with it. I need my big gun. I don't- I can't reach the specified position and pick up the giant viper. Okay, this is completely new content. They're just throwing us into the action. Mendo. Uh, question mark, exclamation mark. He looks shell-shocked. Also, he looks a lot more buff. And he's wearing the um, Antarctican Tassa uniform, I guess. Uh, obsession. I wonder who he's obsessed with. So we've got our buffalo rifle. But we need the giant viper. Not the small viper. We need the giant one. And... Bloodthorn. Shrike. New and unknown life form unit. Deals 187 damage to enemy units within two blocks when def of oneself when defeated. Okay, so that's kind of gross. <laughs> what is this? it? We're suddenly in Saya no Uta, right? We're suddenly in the sci-fi Saya no Uta world. Um, unknown girl. She's got 4,000 HP. Uh... Blood Annihilation. Marks the target location of the target enemy as a skill casting area. Okay. And her basic attack is Barb. 85 damage. She's gonna one-shot me, isn't she? Okay, we've got 374 HP. That's pretty good. Alright. Alright. So, we need to... 
go ahead and what the yeah these are dangerous go ahead and blow, blow that up ew how far does she okay so she'll she can basically hit anything okay so we'll go here and end her turn Sp spatial displacement what the heck Alright, so let's pick up our gun. I'll wipe that smile off your face soon. Let's see what you got. Defeat the unknown girl. So we've got, now we've got our giant viper, uh, drum fed rifle, 500 attack. This thing hits hard. Armor penetration too. All right. So, <laughs> need objective survive. No, we're not objective surviving. We're gonna blow her up. So, so what we need to do is we need to move off this spot first. Oh. Oh. Whoopsies! I thought that blowing up one of these blood things would would uh, open up the rest, but I guess that's not gonna happen. In that case, not enough. Ah. Now Mendo is confident. All right, he's not gonna die. He doesn't need to survive. He's gonna break this this imposter. See, can I change my weapon? Synthesis and stuff. Looks like we can't change our weapon, can we? We can't. Girl's just throwing blood at us. Girl, I, d I don't want your, your, your. Uh, I wanted to make a, a, a period joke there, but maybe that's a little bit. Um, maybe that's a little bit inappropriate. All right, so we're gonna do this. I'm gonna shoot her in the face. Take that. Oh, we are hitting hard. We shoot her again. Man, this gun is ridiculously powerful. You want to beat me? Where'd she go? The view here is so nice. You can sleep here. Bastard. Take this. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Wait, we... We've got blood, too. We gave her a taste of our blood. What's... this? Stay here with your kind! Oh, no. We... We did not survive. Mendo did not survive that. How... where am I? Who? Who's there? F. Rip. Hey, it's the girl! It's 
It's a cute girl. You. I didn't think any of MID's people would survive. Do you know MID? Where's the medkit? In the truck under the back seat. Found it. Here, treat your wounds. Thanks. Oh, Captain Carl. Captain. Oh, my captain. Did you kill all these people by yourself? The answer is yes. She did. Who are you? How do you know so much? I think you hear footsteps. I need to go. If you want to stay, be my guest. And so she runs off. So yeah, that I guess that was a flash forward. Uh, our main character looks a lot more confident and battle-worn. <laughs> so you're coming after all. Who on earth are you? And he's, he looks so soft right now. He just happened to be lying there. I see. You never stop to find your way despite the complex terrain. Are you a local? Stop talking. She's bossing you around already. Go spot the enemies. Alright, so we've done this before. Just some scouts. Alright, let's go. Uh, let's get this tutorial. We've got grenades. And we're gonna go pick that up too. And this is med medicine. Alright. I'll go ahead and shoot them. And you go ahead, shoot them too. Got a med kit. We're just gonna blast through this. Uh, okay, that was not intended. Uh, uh, they were not supposed to do that. Uh, whoopsies. Doesn't matter. Shoot in the face. Shoot in the face. Go down here. Wait. Gonna use some medicine on ourselves. Pop down. Enter. Man, there's already fan art of the new of the new suit for Mendo. Man, people were fast. The game's the demo's been out for less than a day. People already have fan art out. It's incredible. Seems like the garrison at the southeast intersection is still standing by. Getting close to attack range now. I think we should work out a plan before alarming them. So basically here it tells you that certain enemies are just standing by until they see you. And then once they see you, then they'll start coming after you. But otherwise you can just stealth them. Dedicated Team Mika fans, right? So we've got the most annoying enemy type in this game, the sniper. In all Mika Team games, the sniper is always the most annoying enemy. They just one-shot you from across the field. 
I know in Girls Frontline 2 these were really bad. So yeah, Jeff T wants to take care of them, but Mendo says, fuck that noise. Okay, Jeff T come down here. Can she shoot? Each shot costs four. Yeah, she's not able to shoot. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Out of range. How far can this guy shoot? Not far. So. What can we do about this? I think if I go in here, they might not be able to see me. Potentially. Well, let's try it. And we cannot stealth, unfortunately. Might have been a bad choice. We might get shot. Oh well. Go here. Enter. They're still using the sniper cape tech from Skynet. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, that's bad. Uh, but luckily, our boy Mendo is obsessed with Jeff T, so he will not die. Not immediately, anyway. Oh. What's going on? My, my my VTS is all... It's not moving. I wonder why that is. Sorry, it looks like my... Let me restart my VTS. It's not tracking. Frozen? I, I'm not frozen, don't say that. Look at how, how hard it is to say Zengari, the mastermind. Army TVL snipers. Zengari. Oh yeah, my, my iPhone is heating up really bad. It seems to do that a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm still not sure why. Okay, we're gonna turn off the Bluetooth. I don't even know why we have Bluetooth on. Right. I might need to recalibrate it. All right, there we go. <laughs> We're no longer frozen. Gunshots, capture them. <laughs> So anyways, normally to S rank, you can't allow any of your guys to get downed, but Mendo has a special ability where he'll go back to full health. So essentially he has two lives. Uh, achieve victory within 10 rounds. No friendly unit has been in critical condition and defeat uh, 9 enemy units. That's easy. Boom. Right. Then... We can do the no. We have you. Go down here. Do this. Can we jump over here? We can, but then we'd only be able to shoot one guy. That's fine. We can take the hit. And it's gonna run up, throw a grenade. It's okay if he gets shot. Um, he can t he can tank the damage. You know, Jeff T will run this way. Turn. Let's see, only 15 damage. No. This game is incredibly consistent. There's no damage range. You either hit or you don't. Right. The attacks will always deal the same amount of damage, no matter what. 
um, unless you miss or you get a critical. I'm not sure if enemies can crit though. Let's go over here. And just so we can, we're gonna walk this way. We have a few more turns. It's end the turn. I don't like those guys, but killing them will not give me anything extra, so. Yeah, in this game, you do not get EXP based off of um, killing enemies. You get it based off of fulfilling objectives. So here we've got the GFL, um, Griffin and Cougar red coat. Extremely warm coat left behind in the house. Bakery might find it useful. It would be nice if Shefty had a red coat skin, but I don't think they've added it. And that is the end of our first mission. They remixed the victory theme. Ah, oh, it's so cool. All right, so you have a chance. You have like you know, you can restart the mission if you want, but why would I do that? I did it perfectly. Right, the music is so good. It's so good. I think we've given them the slip. What if I tell you I have experienced this before? Would you believe me? So, uh, yeah, basically this girl, she has the power to go back in time when she dies. Or more accurately, it's kind of like Steins Gate, um, where she can send her memories back in time. She can't actually go back in time. She just sends her memories back in time. So she technically does die at the end of every route. And you do too. <laughs> you have that look of utter disbelief on your face, though. You know, really such an open book. Yeah, he's a he's a rookie. This is his first mission. Even though he's like a secret agent, this is his very first mission. If I'd known I was Anderson was working with an agents like you, I would have just tried to sort things out on my own. You know Anderson? I knew it. You're not a local. You're the objective of our, of our mission. You're bakery. Stop using that ugly code name. Uh, I'm just, I'm blocking the text. Ugh. I should have. You know how a lot of YouTubers they have that little box, that little window box that they put their heads in. I should be doing that. I should be. I should be doing that. We're here. Your binoculars on you. Look towards the bottom of the mountain. I'm gonna. I'm gonna move myself again. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be over here. I'm gonna be like this. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Uh, your 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 <laughs> your exiled Sunraven VTuber here, uh, just hanging out. <laughs> I swear, all Sunravens can do this. It's where we were supposed to rendezvous with Squad Two Two. Damn it, they're camping us. They even sent in a tank, and there's a conspicuous blood splatter over there. Um, people who know will know. Oh, they even show it. Wow. You know, this was supposed to be such a big plot twist in the original game, and here they're just showing it in the first five minutes. It hurts so much. Lega, get up! Run! Command received. Only two white-haired targets remain. Fire! Kill the one in front of you! Oh no. They vaporized the little girl. Liga wasn't there. She was recycled this time. The sign of the bodies of our men. Has the scene already been cleaned up? They must have been an, there must have been an intelligence leak. Not only did they jam our comms, they even mobilized heavy weaponry and armored units. 
fluctuation I just felt was not an illusion. I've got to find her fast. Wait, where are you going? He's like, yeah, I'm going to protect you, even though everyone else is dead. And the, I'm the only one left. I will protect you. Even though it's my first mission. Even though everyone else died. <laughs> he's, he's trying. Enemy knows your every move. I'm better off on my own. I'm a tier two field agent. Unfortunately, he's not a tier two. Unfortunately, he's not a tier one field agent. I swear I'll help you evacuate to safety. Then please, Mr. Mendo, where exactly should we evacuate to? That's the satellite phone. Unknown, do you accept the call from this mysterious caller? Do you, guys, do you, do you accept phone calls from, from numbers you don't know? I, I have a tendency to just ignore numbers that I don't recognize. Like, the government's never going to call you on the phone, okay? They, that's what the mail is for. Caller ID is encrypted. If I remember correctly, the code phrase for answering this call is... Yeah, give me a moment. Give him. Give me a moment, woman. I'm, I've got a call. <gasps> I am a ghost. I await your confession. Remember tonight, for it is the beginning of always. What does that even mean? What does that even mean? You know, like Armored Core and Ace Combat has ridiculous lines where you go, what, what does that even mean? But those lines still make sense grammatically. This just sounds strange. I didn't expect a call from Ukraine. I'm glad someone picked up. What's the situation? Not good. We're trying to evacuate. Relatively safe for now. Don't think anyone is onto me yet. The minute I had some privacy, I tried to contact you. So you knew about the ambush. Sorry, but by the time I found out, it was already too late. Commander at the base deployed a force to derail your mission, but didn't inform the regular garrison. Search target has escaped. The brass just gave the order to widen the search. Target is safe. I'm planning to make for a safe house to the east. Can you give me some kind of assistance? I guess you're going to evacuate to the east too. There's a drawbridge. Yeah, the drawbridge. This is the thing that's... This is the filter of reverse collapse. The drawbridge. A lot of people are really struggling with that. I can't avert, draw any more attention so you have to do, deal with it yourself. Can this man be trusted? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do our stealth tutorial now. The game is now gonna teach you how to stealth. Alright, this is my lovely S. And so yeah, oh wow. Look at Mendo, he's so bruised, he's so injured. Look at that. Bandages and red everywhere. He is not looking great. Oh my goodness. It seems no matter where I put my head, I'm gonna bl be blocking something. I'm gonna be blocking something. If that's the case, I'll just go put myself in the corner. This is this is dumb. This is so stupid. The only like other thing I could do is perhaps hang myself upside down. That's a little bit too insane. So we're just we're just gonna do this and, and we're gonna live with the consequences. Alright. So in here we have our it explains to you the inventory system. And we can actually craft our own items while we're here. We don't really need to do that right now. Uh, we can deal with the next uh, hey, they actually changed some of the some of the icons. That's really cool. Yeah, these the the icons the buttons look a lot less bare now. That's good. Because for Mika team, their graphics have always been a strong point for them. Their graphics and their icons. Hmm. Lovely, lovely. So we've got Mendo and we've got Mysterious Girl. We already know her name is Jeff T. 
and she's got a she's got a Mosinagan. She's got an ancient gun. She's got a nearly 200 year old gun. Right, because the I believe the Mosin Nagant came out before World War One, and we're in 2092 right now. So this is an old, 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 old gun. Graphic design is literally their passion. Exactly. Our vision is blurred by the snow. We should proceed with caution. Isn't your informant supposed to be really resourceful? Why don't you ask him to send the garrison away? We'll get in touch. Crane, do you copy? Yes. What is it? There are troops stationed at the village between us and the bridge. Can you send them away? If I do that, you'll soon be talking to our military police. The way the troops conduct their actions is very by the book. So, you know, they're basically like your typical Russian soldier. They don't... They they don't do anything until unless they're told directly to do it. And they won't really go off, you know, off schedule. <laughs> there's something you can rely on, it's that Russian soldiers are very predictable. Typical villages like those in the mountains are usually covered by a team of 18 men. Keys to make clear of each soldier's position. Speaking of which, the woods is a wonderful option as long as you don't give yourselves away. Isn't Mosin also the GFL icon? Uh, no, it's not Mosin. For GF... Girls Frontline 1, the, the poster girl is... is... Um, Car 98K. So the German rifle. Also, they always put some people at high vantage points. These scouts have a better view because of their elevated positions. Please keep that in mind. So basically, all care all troops have a certain vision. And that's like the limit of how far they can spot you. And people that are on high elevation can see farther. Fortunately, the soldiers over there already completed the patrol and started to stand by. I don't think we can still count on him. Just explore the area around with the information we've got. So, in the original bakery game, there was. I don't believe. I don't think there was an, anyone named Crane. Instead, the informant was one of the, uh, basically they're, they're a big, one of the main antagonists. Um, we don't know if it's the same person in this game. It could be someone different. Or it could be the same person and Crane is just a red herring. So the flames, so the, the what, what do they call these? These bonfires also illuminate an area. So they reveal what's going on in the uh, fog of war. Except this is not, this is a literal fog of war because we're in a snowstorm. Which I, I find that pretty interesting, right? Usually fog of war is like a very metaphorical thing, but here it's it's quite literal. So we need to move in stealth mode, which basically amounts to crawling. We are basically solid snake. So Mendo's gonna go first and let um, let Jeff to have a nice look at his cake. And hey, they actually they added a little floating icon here. That's pretty neat. Little floating character icon. Eighty percent camo index. <laughs> And turn. Why do they send so many of us here? Who are they expecting? I've got information that the troops ahead have already got whoever they wanted. Perhaps there will be no need for us to take action at all. So we're just wasting our time. <sighs> anyway, this might not be so bad. I apologize for my, my terrible Slavic accent. There are enemies on both sides of the road. They won't spot us for now while we're in stealth. We should make clear of the enemy's visual range. So 
so we can right click on them to see how far that each of them can look so the yellow is where the enemies absolutely will see us no matter what unless we're hiding in a building or the woods and the blue is how they can how far they can see us if we're not stealthing move the character to the designated location while ex avoiding exposed positions So if we walk here, this guy's going to see us. Alternatively, we could... Well, I guess they didn't give us the ability to see it yet. So we have to go here. And Jeff is going to go over there. What? Our troops are attacked. Berla, come with me. <laughs> Did they change this person's name? The front line needs us. We must go reinforce them immediately. The rest of you, keep your eyes peeled. Don't let our targets slip through this area while I'm away. So now there's 16 uh, enemies on the map. That was a false alarm. No enemy came this way. We need to find a new route. Okay, so now they're introducing us to the stealth view or the enemy visual range. So now we can see exactly what the enemy can see, which is almost the entire map. We have to slip through basically these blue areas. So actually, I'm going to do a little bit of a count. So two of them left. There was originally 18 soldiers. Two left, so now there's 16. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so all 16 enemies are visible. That's good. Because, you know, in some missions, they might actually have some of the enemies hidden. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go here, pick this up. It's medicine. Go here. Enter. And it's good that the game tells you <laughs> what's causing the problem. The original game did not give you warnings, uh, it just lets you get spotted. Which was very frustrating if you were playing a stealth mission. This way. Good thing that n none of these enemies are in patrol. They're all standby, so they're not gonna move. Jeff is gonna go here, and we picked up our lore dump. I'm not gonna read it. Um, not right now, anyway. Over here. Can turn. this up. It's a medical kit. Jeff is gonna go here. Pick up a white flower. Back there. Fairly simple. And that is that mission. This is still tutorial. Gosh, that's such a
a good jingle. Comparing it to training, but obviously this is not training, this is the real battlefield. It's worth taking a risk going through the village. I'll admit you're right, but it was still a terrible idea. So now we're gonna go through the bridge. Hope you don't get f shot full of holes before you can handle the rest. Let's go. A few humanitarian organizations are sponsored by the MID, so they often do us some favors. Mm. That's a uh, foreshadowing, of course. So we're going to be meeting one of these coaches eventually. These uh, humanitarian... Here it is! Dolls! Lifelike androids with advanced AI. 2054, IOP rolled out the first generation tactical dolls. By 2092, the vast majority of existing dolls have been upgraded to 6th gen. Um, which include carbon-based bionic skin. Da -da 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 -da. Doll operate refugee coaches just so happens to be passing through this area. If we travel fast enough, we might be able to catch it before it leaves. They're given free access to this area mainly because of the credibility of the humanitarian organization. Your NC ever finds out they're colluding with uh, with you, you know the consequences. So now she's talking about his material shuttle on his shoulder. It's basically a portable. Uh, what would you call it? It's a portable 3D printer. Uh, except it prints basically... It prints matter. It doesn't need ink. It's also able to break things apart too. And, you know, it's locked out. He can't use it. So Jeff T basically jailbreaks it. <laughs> Apple would not approve. I made your stupid gadget bypass the authorization lockout. It should now be capable of material synthesis. So that's actually very valuable because the enemy doesn't have this technology. This is super technology. And it's going to prove to be really good for us. Because now we can build trip mines. We can build trip mines, we can build med kits, we can basically make anything with it. So for now, let's make our frag grenade stronger. So yeah, this this is basically our skill tree. Or our technology tree. And you get more points based on how much S ranking you do, I believe. We don't have any grenades, that's fine. Star Trek, exactly, that's what it is. It's Star, Star Trek technology. So it's able to print stuff, but it's also able to break things down. And its main purpose is actually to, to uh, instantaneously transport material from one location to another. So it can basically, I, th I think theoretically it could print out a tank. Granted that that the uh, relay that the relay stations are operating, it can probably print out an entire tank. Uh, unfortunately, we have lost contact with our service provider, <laughs> so all we can do is uh, take uh, raw materials, break it down, and use it to create other things. We don't have access to our skill trees yet, so we're go going to go ahead and start the next. The next mission. Ah, yes, the bridge mission. 
People don't like this mission. It's <laughs> it's the first filter. Or I, I, you know, it's <laughs> skill issue. Print out a dinner gate. I would like to do that. Gosh, those things are so cute. Have you guys seen the the diner gate design in Girls Frontline 2? That thing is buff. It's not cute anymore. It's it looks like it could strangle you. Alright, so here's an like enemy commando. He hurts. Don't let him see you. Blinsky, it's our turn to stand guard at the foot of the mountain today. Alright, let's go. The bridge is the only way across the valley. It's being guarded. Comparison, the outposts won't give us much trouble. While the URNC main forces are away on patrol, we can just stealth past. Control terminal on each end of the drawbridge, and we need the password. Also, we're going to sabotage it. If we're spotted, we can stop most of our pursuers by raising the bridge. So yeah, we're going to hack their consoles and steal their steal their IP address. <laughs> We're gonna keep an eye on their vision range. Yeah. So I was given a service recently to look at your security, right? And basically I found out that my email addresses and passwords were being leaked and circulated through uh, criminal forums. And you know, I wasn't su I wasn't surprised. I kind of expected it. Most likely if you've posted your well, you don't even need to post your information anywhere. What happens is that the websites that you sign up for, oftentimes their servers that hold their information get compromised. So someone hacks into them and they basically steal all your email and credit card and, and password information. So most likely if you've done anything on the internet, someone has stolen your password already. And the only reason Nothing has happened is because well, you're you're pretty much a nobody, so <laughs> it's not worth the trouble to try to steal your money. Hypnotic syringe. Where did you get these? I attempted to synthesize some using the chemicals after the material shuttle was repaired. Quantity is limited for now, so we must use them sparingly. Okay, we've got tranquilizer darts. I don't know why they call it a hypnotic dart. Um. I skipped the tutorial, so I'm not sure if that's a mistranslation or if it really is hypnosis. I don't, I don't think it's hypnosis. I think it's a bad translation. Okay, so now the game is teaching us about patrols. So basically the enemy is going to go here and go back and then go here again and then back until he sees something. All right. So we've got this hypnotic syringe only effective when the unit is not exposed. Permanently puts a chosen enemy unit to, into a sleep state and permanently applies dodge minus 50, asleep. Immediately loses vision and cannot act. While in a sleep state, they will be awakened when discovered by friendly units, anti-stealth visual range. So basically if someone, um, if you're in, if you put them to sleep, say if I put this guy to sleep, this guy would not be able to see him because it has to be, he's like lying on the ground. So it's not going to be very visible unless it's in the blue, it's in the yellow grid. So we're going to go ahead, walk here, and how much does it cost three? Cost three to use it. So we're going to go ahead and syringe him. Poor guy! Oh, look at that. You can even hear him snoring, isn't he? Look, doesn't he look so peaceful? And because no one else, he's not in anyone else's yellow grid, 
He's just gonna stay there. No one's gonna wake him up. It's nice that they added the snoring sound effects. That's kind of cute. Go ahead and walk over here. Do this. Actually, I want to look like what the... I want to see what the syringe gun looks like. It's a tiny little pistol. Okay, okay. Yeah, it looks like... It looks like a syringe with a... With a handguard. Okay. Gonna crawl over here. And turn. We don't really need the syringes. Unless they change the map. We should be able to get by without the syringes. The passcode. Walk this way. Hack this console. No passcode here either. That's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and walk down here. This guy is walking in a square formation here. So it's okay for us to go here. Alright. Be very quiet. We're sneaking past globalists. So next turn, this guy's gonna go back here, and because he has a one, one distance, um, absolute vision zone, we cannot go here. He'll spot us, so we have to go in these woods. Jeffy cannot move right now. This guy's in the way. We'll wait for next turn. Oh, that's annoying. Looks like Mendo has to stay here for now as well. Because that guy's going to be blocking. Unless we use the uh, tranquilizer darts. I don't feel like using them right now. Alright, I forgot we could I forgot we could speed things up. Go here. Grab that. This way. Box full of trophies. And that's the last password. Or the last terminal. We should have the password now. Right time to sure those fly by. Let's go then. Back to the Meltons.
The snow is getting lighter. We need to hurry up. Wait, there's movement ahead. Malvit, time to change shifts. Anything suspicious in the previous round? No, but even if there were, all traces have been covered by all this damn snow. Keep your voice down. If Captain hears you say that, we'll be dead meat. Right, enough chit chat. We better be off. This is our chance. Let's sneak our way past. Gonna observe the situation. Yeah, there's lots of them. There's no... There's nothing we can do, but... Blast ahead. And also, I'm frozen again. Oh, no. The iPhone does not... My iPhone does not enjoy... These YouTube streams, maybe. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me, Apple? Why? Oh my goodness. Now the locations of the terminals and the patrols will make a move when we're closer. Uh-oh, the fog's over. We've been spotted. Attention all units. Suspicious individual has been identified on the west side of the bridge. Off the bride. Oh my goodness. Pursue immediately. These basic typos. They sounded the alarm. We need to make a break for it. Squad 7 in position. Ready to engage the targets. Enemies are coming. We cannot waste time here. Let's find an opportunity for it to run for it. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and make some trip lines. Uh, press 2. Confirm. Okay, exit. So we only really need two trip mines. Have one here. And we need another one down bottom. Because this guy's annoying. Actually, I'm not even sure we really need it. another trip mine. Um, how many grenades? We have three grenades. Okay, so that's fine. Jeff, can you get that dude? You can, but you won't kill him. Alright, so we're just gonna go ahead and charge the bridge and hope things work out. We already know where we are. We might as well blow them up. the passcode. All right. Blow up the bridge controls so it can only be operated from the other side. Go ahead and shoot this guy. And end the turn. And Jeff D instantly gets shot in the face. Not great.
Right, there's a lot of enemies. So yeah, we need to get rid of this guy. Go ahead and shoot him. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and shoot him. Oh wait, can we just run past him? He's in our way. So we can shoot him. What's his range? What's his attack range? His attack range is three. Advantage attack range. So he can shoot three crits away from himself. How far can we move? All we can do is we can hit him with us. We can put a stun a trip mine next to him. You can put a trip mine right next to him. Let's see how much shots Aunt Teresa takes to AP. Alright, that's fine. Go here. Shoot this guy. Now what we can do is shoot this person twice, potentially. We need to get at least three spots away. Actually, we could just... How far can these guys run? And we need to go at least here. How far can these guys run? Okay, so... We need to move at least to this point. We go here we can actually shoot we can only shoot once so that's not good instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a trip mine here so when he tries to chase us he'll hit the trip mine one two three Walk this way and use some medicine. There we go. And I miscalculated. Whoops. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's so embarrassing. Okay, good thing is that enemies here did not move. Uh, that's good. <laughs> I think they may have made it, they may have made this mission a little bit easier. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and rush Jeffy over. She's barely limping, but she, she'll she'll walk it off. She'll walk it off. We successfully crossed the bridge, uh, the big filter. And we've raised the bridge. And suddenly, the two guards on our side of the bridge, they just despawned. It's collapsed technology, man. I don't have to explain shit. Spread out and find cover first. Follow up units are here. So now, we have enemies we have to deal with. A lot of them, actually. Nearby patrols have also returned. All the squads in the area are pretty, probably heading this way. So now they're teaching us about cover. The sandbags help us, um, give us higher evasion chance. So it's not absolute, but it's still better than nothing. So we've finished one objective. Ally units reach the specified location three turns. Uh, so we've still got two others for S rank. No friendly units being in critical condition and defeat two enemy units with a weapon station. I don't like using their guns. Do it with it what you want. Right, so well, we're gonna build a turret. And we can do that because we have a collapsed shuttle.
our best friend, the turret. Isn't it cute? Isn't it so cute? This is our best friend right here. Jeff T is gonna go ahead and snipe this person. And we want to get rid of that one too. We go here. Snipe them. And it's gonna walk over here. This is ah oh, that the sni we need to get rid of this sniper. We have a grenade. So the game might be wanting us to do this. We're in a bit of a pickle. We're in a bit of a pickle. But we want to get rid of this sniper first. So let's go ahead and do that. We missed. We hit. Okay. And now we're going to pray that the enemy does not attack Jefty. Right? If we look here, enemies all have this red outline going towards Mendo. Oh, wait, no. Whoops. <laughs> And that's just because I had him selected. So they can either go after Mendo or Jefty. I hope they only go after Mendo, though. Because <laughs> Jefty has no HP. Ah. Uh, yeah, that was bad. That was bad. Okay, I have the character skills. So, we, we can no longer get our S rank. Um, you know what? I can. Let's check out how this works. We're going to go ahead and... I believe this is, well, this is the one. Restart phase. Start to the beginning of the current stage and restart the battle. Yeah. Wait. What? What? No! No! What the hell? What the hell? There's no way. There's... N <sighs> okay, it's fine. We'll come back to do this later. It's fine. Um, Mendo will just have to deal with this on his own. Go ahead and use a grenade. Shoot that guy in the face. Shoot that guy in the face. We don't have any more trip mines. We can build a trip mine though. Let's do that. Let's build another trip mine. Synthesize. Made a little jingle. Go ahead and put this here. And hopefully the enemies will... Actually, we're going to put this here. And we'll end the turn. Actually, we'll, we'll do this. That was not ideal. I would have liked for the trip mine to hit two of them. But it's fine, Mendo is tanky enough. He can afford to fight a bunch of people at once. Luckily these, these enemies have all grouped up for us. We can just throw a single grenade, get three of them at once. Oh, I'm not liking that. I'm not liking that percentage. Uh, but we've got no choice. Let's go ahead and shoot. That is not good. Let's go ahead and shoot again. And hopefully we can finish him off. That's not good. Ah, I forgot we had this ability. The target locked ability. Okay, uh... Granted, it's been a couple months since last time I played, so do forgive me if I'm not at my best right now. 
So this ability, target locked on, gives us a 100% chance of hitting. Use that to blow him away. And blow him away. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright. So that was the way we were supposed to go originally. Unfortunately, it is now blocked by a bunch of commandos and we are in no condition to fight. So we're gonna take the scenic route. There it is, a snowmobile. We can use that, it's insanely loud, are you mad? We still have 80 kilometers to go. <laughs> Roach, get on a snowmobile. Yeah, it's... It's not a great idea. I got shot. Injury's not too bad, but I can't properly drive. Yeah. Complete, complete success. We are, we are the best. Ignore the B rank. Yeah, ignore that B. That it's an S rank, okay? Well, that's not even a B, is it? Okay, is that a B or a C? <laughs> I'm gonna assume it's a B. All right. So we're on a snowmobile, which is completely unrealistic. Don't do this, guys. This is a terrible... If you're spies, this is a terrible way of escaping. Hello. Hello, Chibity. How's it going? It's a typo, but it works. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hey, General Dang. Oh, it's a Metal Gear Solid. No, this is modern warfare. I mean, collapse warfare. Modern er warfare. Where's the caribou? What, what do you mean caribou? This is. I guess there are caribou in Russia, aren't there? Isn't there? All right. So, and we had, we now have access to our skill tree, uh, genetic enhancement. Let's see, did they fix the UI? Okay, that's a lot better. Before, the text was really tiny. This is a little bit better, but it's still not, it's not optimal. You can tell that the text was made for Chinese uh, words. Go ahead and upgrade target locked on. His, let's see, where is it? His respite still over, overpowered. It, it looks like it might still be. Yeah, after evading an enemy's attack, restore twenty percent of max HP. We picked up a red dot. So we're gonna do some customization. We're gonna add a red dot sight. I have honestly, I have no idea how Mendo is able to shoot with these tiny little iron sights. We're gonna go ahead and give him a red dot, which, what is it? What's this thing even do? It increases accuracy. 
That's good. So yeah, we can upgrade our gun. And, you know, the... The resource we need to upgrade our weapons is, is the same that we need to create items. So it's a trade-off. You don't want to make too many items and you don't want to use too many items because, well, you don't have enough resources to upgrade your weapons. But also, if you don't use items, it's going to make the game a lot harder. go ahead and upgrade our trip mines because trip mines are really oh we can't we can't upgrade our trip mines what we can do is upgrade our grenades darn those upgraded trip mines are really good though that's fine though let's get up strong grenades uh go go ahead and make a grenade Actually, let's make two. And make some more trip mines. I didn't watch another Ghibli movie, so I broke that streak. Otherwise, not a lot of sleep. At least I wanted to show up. Mm -hmm. And I really do appreciate it. Thanks for coming. Also, here's this. Here's our poor snowmobile. It's going to be very useful for us. Despite not being that great of a transportation. No. Escaping via snowmobile is not a good idea. Don't do it. If you ever find yourself in the middle of a firefight, which you honestly should not. Don't use the snowmobile, it's a bad idea. You're not gonna outrun an enemy army. Much more skilled than I thought. Thought I will get you nowhere. How are you holding up? I'm fine, I can still fight. Under lowercase i. Okay, that needs to be fixed. There's still quite a lot of enemies in the area. Solid Snake, that's how it goes. Hey, when Solid Snake got the snowmobile, the, the game was already over, okay? There is no more enemy soldiers. Right now, there is soldiers everywhere. A snowmobile is a terrible way to, to uh, evac. Perhaps we can make it easier by igniting the motor oils, motor's oil tank. Here we've got our first little mini boss, Elite Scout. Well, he's not even a mini boss. It's just the first Elite Scout. So our objectives. Okay, explosives. We can blow them up. So objectives are complete the mission in 12 rounds. No one in critical condition and blow up at least five people with explosives. We can do that. Easy. Danger zone. There's a lot of danger zone. Here. Can we actually stealth? We cannot. Use simple construction to give Jeff D some extra protection. And turn. Kill zone. <laughs> Yeah, it does resemble Killzone, doesn't it? With all the uh, enemies with the red visors. Is this a gacha game or a game game? This is a game game. This is a complete game game. It's a demo right now, but it is a game game. Uh, trust. It is a game game. They might add DLC though. 
Uh, hopefully they won't. Hopefully they won't. I know people don't particularly enjoy that. So there's a bunch of enemies grouped up around this big old um, motor um, snowmobile. And we can just go Dokang and they'll all die. Jeff D's rifle is kind of... It uses a lot of uh, points to shoot. So I'm, I'm going to use Mendo's little teensy teensy little SMG to do it instead. There we go. Let's see, can I shoot? Yes. I'm going to go ahead and... Shoot the enemy sniper from all the way over here. Bang! So now that we've alerted these guys, they will all come gunning for us. Luckily for us, they're all pretty much in the same spot. Unfortunately, our grenades are not strong enough to one-shot these guys. Jefty, however, can do a lot of damage. So we're going to go ahead and blast them. Now we have a choice to make. We can either charge ahead, stay here, or we can fall back a little bit. Um, I don't want to. Move back. So instead we're going to put down some tripwire mines. Put a weapon station in the woods here. That might not have been the best place to put it, actually. Um, let's see. Yeah, it might not have been the best place to put it. Actually, let's remove that. Never mind that. Let's put it here. All right. In turn. There we go. Excellent, excellent. And wouldn't you know it, the fog of war has returned. It's snowing more heavily. The fog is also thickening. Weather is working to our advantage. I can create a st scanner with components I picked up. To just pick enemies. So we can make a scanner, but for now let's shoot them. Go ahead. Whoa, they added sound effects. 
when you walk into a cabin. That's pretty neat. Um, go ahead and place that scanner. Something, something, sniper, something, something, right on shooting star. You don't need a scanner to... To... I don't like this new chat. It's, it's blocking everything with like the freaking heart. I can't see. To see an enemy in front of you. Yeah, you don't need it. Yeah, you don't. <laughs> you don't need it. But it helps with the uh, fog by increasing your field of view. So right now, Mendo is unseen. He's not spotted because we're in a stealth map because of the snow. But Jefty is still uh, she is spotted because of that red icon above her head. And if we look at the enemy's uh, visual range, they can see basically where they're. They have vision on where their guys used to be, and where we used to be. So we need to move Jefty out of there. And now she's no longer seen. This is useful for hit and run tactics uh, that we'll be doing later on might actually be a bad position depending on if the enemies are moving or not. That's good. So now we have time. We can go ahead and think of a way to kill them all. We can either choose to pick them off, or we can fight them one by one. Let's try to get close first. Um, where's the stealth button? E. We're gonna tr get Mendo over here, and we're gonna get Jeff T over here. What to do about the heart heart in the chat corner it's been there for like a couple yeah I, I don't even know what it does i have no idea what the heart does it just it it shoots it shoots hearts out sometime but it, i i don't know what what's the purpose at all i've got no idea so we're gonna get everyone real close Yeah, I want Mendo to be real close. So that when he reveals himself, I'm just going to have him throw a single grenade and then shoot twice. And hopefully we'll be able to eliminate the enemies instantly. Meanwhile, Jeffy, I need you to sneak. We have six rounds remaining. We have plenty of time. Oh, I forgot. There's more enemies coming in. That's not good. That's not good. There's there's a lot of them. So this We're just going to go ahead and do it now then. Let's see. Out of range, it's fine. Look at our on stealth. Walk over here. Okay, that did not alert these people. That's good. Throw a grenade. Mm. 
now we can shoot twice. And we fucked up. Oh, that's not good. So now we have to choose between getting the sniper and getting the commando. Yeah. A dilemma. Plan did not come through. We're going to get the sniper. The snipers are more annoying, I believe. Yeah, snipers hit harder, so we've got the sniper instead. And now we're just gonna pray that this guy doesn't hurt us. Ah! I keep on forgetting to use target lock. I'm stupid. I'm very stupid. Hmm. What do I do now then? What do I do now? Well, we can put... Oh, what we're gonna do is get rid of the scanner. We're gonna move it elsewhere. So we have more visibility. We'll put it here. Mm. Yeah, we'll put it here. Hopefully it won't be seen. Oh no, they've got a least scout there, I forgot. Oh, this is not great. This is not a good position. So we're not going to reveal ourselves just yet. Not yet. And turn. Ouch. Bro, that hurt. Well, that's not good. These guys are all, they're all after Mendo. When exposed units disappear from enemy's visual range, nearby enemy units will search, enter search mode. They'll go to where you were last seen. And we can actually see where they're going. Actually, we can't see where they're going. I have no idea where they're going. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot you. Okay, so these guys are all gonna head here. And the best way to head would be through this area. We can plan for that by putting some trip wires. Right here. So we're gonna go up here. Re-enter stealth. And hopefully they won't see us. Goodness, all these alarm sounds. Let's build another trip mine. All these alarm sounds, it is so noisy, jeez. Alright, let's end the turn. So calm. Now, unlike the turrets, we can't actually recolor trip mines once we place them. Um, they just become a part of the environment. Unlike, the, say, the scanner or the turret, we can't replace them. But that is fine. That is perfectly, perfectly fine. I'm gonna do this. shoot the most annoying enemies first. Oh, 
Oh shoot. These guys seen, have seen us now too. That's not good. Um, I have severely misplayed this. I have severely misplayed this. That's fine though. Wait, why is it 0%? Danger awareness. Dodge. Dodge a normal attack with 100% success, regardless of assaulting units' accuracy. What a jerk. We can't kill him? Oh no. Oh no, that's not good. That's really not good. I've, I've severely misplayed this. What happened to me? How, how could this be happening? Well, since they're doing that, I might as well... I might as well blow them up. I've got no choice. Okay, we're gonna pray now. We're gonna pray. <laughs> this is where chance comes in. Like, all we need to do is survive. Wonderful. Mendo would have been fine. It's Jefty I was worried about. But Jefty is A-OK. -okay. Go go ahead and delete that sniper. Goodbye, yeet. We have one more grenade. So we'll go ahead and use that. Shoot this, sir. So we're going to do something else now because this sniper or this scout will always dodge the first attack. We have to do something to do, to um, get rid of that. Jefty can only shoot once. So that's no go. She'll run out of action points. What we're going to go ahead and do instead is we're going to recycle this turret. We're going to have Mendo redeploy it. And the turret will burn that dodge. I'm gonna have Jeff to use her steady shot skill. And she will blast that guy. But her, mm, I wanna pick up this item. I wanna pick up this item. Ah, that was so stupid. I wanna pick up this item. You know what? We're gonna go ahead and pick it up anyway. This would have been so cool. So we picked up another damaged firearm. Let's go ahead and synthesize that into another turret. All right, we're gonna deploy a second turret. Would have been nice if we got got him down, but it's fine. Um, Jeff is no longer spotted. There's two turrets here, and we still have two rounds. We can still get our S rank. It's just not as pretty as I would like. Go ahead and shoot him. Boom. That... That sucks. I just noticed they gave our characters victory animation. This is taking a little bit longer than I expected. We're already two hours in.
We're not even really reading the story. Yeah, we're late. And here is... Here's the stern waifu. I don't know if... Oh, hey, they, they added her shield to the animation, to the sprite. That's pretty nice. So this is Athena. Um, she's kind of scary. <laughs> Though I know some people are into that and their waifus. The story has typos anyway. It, it does. It still has typos, you know. That was a big criticism of the previous demo. There's still typos. Unfortunately, Javon's not here anymore. Our cool, our bro is not here yet. Or, he left already. Everyone's dead. And... Mm, but Athena is a very serious person, so she's not she's not sure that Jefty is actually the target. Also, just look at this. Jefty is really tiny, isn't she? She's she must be really short. I'm assuming Athena is like five foot four, so that must make Jefty like five foot or something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Jefty doing the uh, the average teenage girl. Thing. Oh my god, this is terrible. Guys, self-harm is very serious. Don't do it. Please talk to a, a friend or a family or even like a... a there, there's there's phone lines. There's helplines for this. Someone will listen to you, please. If it hurts inside, please don't, don't, don't break out the knife. So, Jefty's wounds heal really fast. Unfortunately, doesn't she does not have health regen in in game. So now Jefty wants us to go help rescue her little sister in the middle of an enemy base, and Athena naturally is like, "Why the hell would I do that?" And so they're like, okay, um, we'll think about it, which is, which is good for, I don't want to do this, so I'm just going to ignore it. So, so that's what's going to happen, right? So they, we're, we're getting rest, and Amanda's having a little heart to heart with Jeff D right now. He's like, you know, Javon's a great guy. He's going to, he'll understand, he'll help us. I'm really annoyed by that. Let me move the, the chat. <laughs> it's blocking. It's blocking. Uh, I'm going to do this as well. All right. So, yeah, you've been fighting by his side. I know what you're capable of. Surely you don't believe I'm trying to drag you along to meet certain death. <laughs> yeah, sure. Getting, getting more into face masks lately. Uh, yeah. I mean, face masks have been a uh, a fetish for quite a while now. It's not just because of COVID, um, though it's becoming more fashionable in, in the West. And now Mendo's like, he's trying to get the Riz on. He's like saying, you know, even if everyone else abandons you, I will protect you no matter what. He's like, even if you're abandoning your allies, he's like, yes, I will do it. <laughs> Which to a normal person would be like, my my guy, you literally just met this girl, and you're gonna abandon your own country for her. And I agree. <laughs> this is a very, um, how would you say this, romantic thing to do, you know? Why don't you just want to abandon your country to, to um? To help this filthy girl <laughs> find her little sister. Damn, he's he's thirsty. I mean it though. 
I'll always remain by your side, and if circumstances so allow, I'll definitely help you find your sister. <laughs> He's really trying to get the Riz on. It's, it's not really working, though. Any news? I'm sorry. You know, nothing personal, kid. And tranquilizes her. Why'd you suddenly tranquilize her? You still hung up on that? It won't take long for the Yor NC to find this place. We can't stay. Javon, these are instructions from Javon. Told me to bring you to the other safe house. Javon did not specifically say to tranquilize the girl, but you know, Athena just interpreted interpreted it like that. She isn't an object. You should at least consider her feelings. I don't think that's generally what soldiers do. Since when have you become so unprofessional? You think she would take no for an answer? If I had broken it to her, she would have refused. It's no use arguing with you. How about this? I go and find her sister on my own. I'll go sneak into the base all on my own. You're crazy. Did that girl brainwash you or something? Or did you hit your head in a fight? Well, he did hit his head quite pretty hard. He does have a concussion. girl's a lot more calculating than you think. I could already tell at first glance she's no normal person. She's more than you can handle. Yeah, you're in over your head, rookie. What was that? Something set off the booby truck in the innermost per perimeter. We got hacked. Go find Bakery. And she's gone! She's not in the room. That dosage was enough to knock out an adult male for an entire day. Yeah. Hey, that's. I think that's a new sound effect. We can now synthesize painkillers, which is, it's just medicine, but it heals more, but over time. We have more modifications. We can upgrade our medicine. I don't want to do that because I don't generally heal. We're gonna make more grenades though. We need grenades. Gantrip mines. Right, we're gonna put a foregrip. Increase our accuracy some more. And look at that. The Antariza is looking very good looking now. It's a looking a lot prettier now that it's got a foregrip and a red dot. She can self heal. Tranks don't exactly work on Wolverine exactly, right? But you know, it, it was unexpected. We're going to upgrade cover utilization. We can't do that. We don't have enough keys because I did not get uh, S rank. Unfortunate. So for now, we're just going to leave that as it is. We could upgrade our constructions, but we're not going to do that. I do like the little idle animations in between the missions. It's It looks really nice. Like, they made these sprites specifically for this interim. I just think that's amazing. Sentinel units are target of and one of the Antarctic Union agents are currently unaccounted for. All personnel on standby is to search the radius. Expand the search radius. It is imperative that we locate them. Yes, sir. We need people up north. You two head over there. Leave this area to me. Come through every nook and cranny. 
Don't overlook anything suspicious, understood? Now spread out. Who? Damn Antarctican. Captain! Target identified. And he's dead. Turning into tomato. Gunshots from the north. There's enemies everywhere. Can't waste too much time here. Shake them off before their reinforcements come. And Mendo gets shot. But he's fine. Mendo's a tough boy. <laughs> he gets shot again. Yeah, Mendo's tough, but he can't fight 20 something people at once. Still have a few trip mines that can buy some time. Is there blood in girls' frontline? Is that unusual? Uh, yeah, there's blood. Not in the, not in game, but there's there's been blood in cutscenes. Not a lot of it though. Stay strong. I need to find a way to avoid them. And leave from the north. So this is a puzzle stage. And here's the elite sniper. I hate these guys so much. Attack priority. Low health, highest attack. So basically these guys will always go after Jeff T. Okay, we've got a broken shield here. I'm not exactly sure what this is a reference to, but something about gladiators. Like, why is there a random Colosseum in the middle of the Caucasus? Uh, who decided to build this here? Well, we fucked up already. Since this is just the beginning of the mission, I think we can go ahead and restart. <laughs> oh! Wonderful! There's a sniper up here. Okay, that's restart phase. Yeah, that was not... that was not great. So yeah, it's because this elevated area is not stealthed. So this scout was able to just see it because it was not in because he has a what was it he has a two distance where was he going he has a two distance absolute vision field so he's gonna spot it if i put it here but if i put it in the tree line it'll be fine i say cannot release why why not why can't I put it in the tree line, you... Oh my goodness. Oh, I know why. It's because we can't see it into it ourselves. I mean, yeah, that's fine. That's fine, I guess. That's fine, though. Turn. These guys are all going to head down. So as long as I'm inside one of these areas, I should be fine. As long as I'm in a stealth area, which sand piles count as. Go ahead and put a scanner here. There's a sniper there. Can't walk that way. Shh. 
Should be fine to walk this way though. So now they're searching, they're still searching around, so we don't want to be, well, you know, all willy-nilly all over the place. If they come any closer, they'll probably find this thing. Right. So for now, we'll go in these woods, we'll put this thing away. We're not fighting in this mission, we're just trying to sneak a sneak away. Make sure we're not spotted. Right. And now is the dilemma. There's a bunch of these enemies. We need to find a way to deal with them. Because we cannot cross without being spotted. And we don't want to be spotted. To get our S rank. So what do we do? Well... What we can do is... Place a trip mine. Right here. Er. We can place a trip mine here. And we can actually place a weapon station. Here. Actually, what we could have done is place two weapon stations, but eh, whatever. Ah, we fucked up. Yeah, that was bad. Okay, that was dumb. That was really dumb. Um... I'm definitely restarting that. That is so stupid. <laughs> ah, I, I swear I'm good at this game. Oh my goodness. Alright, we're gonna speed through this. I swear I'm actually really good at this game. Um, I'm just showing you guys what not to do. Yeah, let's go with that. I'm just showing you guys what not to do. I'm actually really good at this game, believe, trust. I don't want to harp on the MGS reference, but if you only had a cardboard box. Yeah, I've only had a cardboard box. Huh, funny funny thing about that, right? If only I had a cardboard box. What's going on? You shouldn't be able to spot me if I 
put one here, right? They can. That's odd. Oh, it's because the weapon station itself is not stealth. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. And turn here. All right. So what we're gonna do is. Put one here. Put another one here. Shoot. Shoot. And you know what we should have we should have done is go to this tree first. Um, yeah, my mistake. It's fine. This guy should not move. He should just shoot at this. Why? Uh, why? Why does the AI decide to go right on the turret? Right. This is a refresher for me too, you know? This is a refresher for me too. It's a good thing we can speed up the mission. We can speed up the way the enemies move. Strategy games. How how do you how do you strategize? I don't understand. This is, by the way, the hardest difficulty. Um, even though we're still in the tutorial missions, this is the hardest difficulty. I don't even save scum. I'm, I'm the best, okay? I'm just, I'm the best. Just give me a moment. While I deal with all this stuff. Go ahead and block over here. All right, it's not even an issue. Man, like it's it's like not even an issue, bro. And turn. Can we like put a trip mine here? We can. I don't want to waste a trip mine though. Those are expensive. If a turret dies, we'll get it back at the end of the mission, but not a trip mine. Still have five rounds. It's perfectly, perfectly fine. Put one here. Put another one right here. Like that. Shoot that. Hopefully this guy won't move around too much. Um. Why did he go that way? Maybe I should have just used the trip mine. It's fine. This here. This here. Oh my goodness. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. I, I am <laughs> ah! All right, 
Suffering is over. I was trying to conserve resources. But the game was like, no. No, you may not. You're going to use that trip mine, no matter what. This should have been a really easy mission. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Why, why this occurred. You know what? I, I can big brain this still. I can. So they can see that far. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place a turret down here. And then I'm gonna move away next turn. I can big brain this. I can. So his absolute vision field is only one square. I just need to make sure I'm not in that absolute vision field. We go to the super here, and we should be able to be okay. Yeah, we should be. We should be fine. Oh, that was close. That was close. Gonna go. Put it down another one. Down here. Have we considered giving peace a chance? No, peace was never an option. Alternatively, we could have gone with we could have gone with um, the tranquilizer dart, but I also don't want to waste the tranquilizer dart. Wait, why are you not moving? Oh my god, they really want us to use the tranquilizer dart. They really want us to use it. That's frustrating. So frustrating. This is the worst. This is the worst. <laughs> Wait, how much does it even cost to make a tranquilizer dart? Hypnotic syringe, it costs three medicine. That's expensive. That is really expensive, actually. That is really expensive. Oh. Right. I was supposed to finish this mission in one run in like two minutes, and it was gonna be beautiful. It was gonna be so beautiful. Unfortunately, plans are the first thing that just go... Nope. The first casualty of any battle is the plans. Alright. I guess we can use the tranquilizer. Darn. I really didn't want to do it. Oh, shoot. 
Okay, so we can do that too. We can play something and they'll be like, wait, what was that? Then we can go here. And actually go here. Like so. They'll be like, what was that? And they'll try to search for it. Hopefully they won't come after us. They'll be like, wait, what was that? Now everyone's going there. It's kind of spooky for us, but that's still fine. We'll put it here. And they'll be all like, wait, what was that? And I'm... I'm actually just going to put it away instantly. So now they're all like, wait, huh? I go up here. I'm going to slowly make our way to the side. And hopefully they won't go back to their positions because that'll be really annoying. Oh, jeez. One of them got real close. One of them's like right here. Yeah, this guy was right there. He almost saw us. Hopefully none of them come this way. Oh, jeez. They got really close. I'm gonna pick this up. We've got an AFH flash suppressor. Put away our thing so it doesn't get spotted. And hopefully they don't run back this way. They're still searching. They're still searching for us. Oh. Yeah, no, my, my butt is very clenched right now. Hey, they, they... They decided to leave us alone, finally. It, it took us a few tries, but we, we big-brained it. Gave them a slip. Can't find bakery anywhere. Where could she be? One well, of the targets is in the northern area, sending coordinates. An ambush! Oh no! Yeah, that's what I say every time I'm like, oh, I miss, I'm so smart, and then, oh no. I'm saved, is it her? So you're the only one who got out alive. I suppose that's not too bad. Why are you. Why am I here? Put a lid on that curiosity of yours for now. I'll tell you when we're somewhere safe. If you don't want to come with me, then hand over the material shuttle. You can do whatever you want after that. I can't give it to you. I can just shoot you and take it for myself. She's being tsundere, guys. She wouldn't actually shoot us. Right? Right? Hm. Then I'll leave you to your own fate. We're not restarting that. Let's just go. Let's just go. I don't want to restart that mission again. Get me out of here. Let's make a deal. If you help me rescue Athena, I'll give you the material shuttle. How does that sound? She's my comrade. I can't just leave her behind. She's dead. That's impossible. She's Tassa. If you refuse to believe me, feel free to confirm it with your informant. Three minutes later. No answer. Everyone's dead. You've been staying in the Antarctic for too long. One has to pay a hefty price in order to survive in this world. Death is more, death is more commonplace than you'd think. Why are you so calm? 
there's been so much violence and death. Yet you look as if nothing had happened at all. So many people have died because of you. Aren't you even the slightest bit upset? Athena was right. They seem they can't seem to decide if she's Athena or Athena. You're not normal. You blame me? You think I was personally responsible? You'll gradually get desensitized. Though no, you'll probably never get the chance if you insist on staying here. So yeah, here she's mumbling about her ability to to tell herself um, to tell her past selves about the future. So now he's basically like, yeah, I'm gonna stay with you no matter what. Yeah, this is still some weird-ass English. I didn't know you're so stubborn. That's, that's really... Uh, it's grammatically correct, but it's very awkward. Uh, a better way to word this would be, I didn't know you'd be so stubborn. I didn't know you're so stubborn is such a... It's, it's, a, it's a very odd phrasing. Not that it matters. This journey is about to come to an end anyway. No matter what choice you make, the ending will always be the same. Liga is in the base. Our only option is to get as close as we can. So we're gonna try to, um... We're gonna try to infiltrate the base. With just the two of us. Not... not ideal. We've got better boots. From basic hiking boots to lightweight hiking boots. So everyone now has more action points. And we got a new gun. Still can't use cover utilization. Character level too low. Uh, let's just spend it. We can reset it later anyway. Insufficient keys. Oh no. Compensator will give her better critical hit damage, but she doesn't really need it. She does so much damage already, anyway. And we also have a blueprint, so we can upgrade. Um, we can upgrade the gun, which is very good. We need to upgrade it. The buffalo is a really good gun. We could have upgraded the Mosin as well, but uh, she's fine. Sound bomb reduces evasion for enemies. And the flashbang. Flashbang's really good.
smoke grenade. Affects accuracy. I don't think we need that though. This should be fine. So here's the enemy base. I'm sorry, it's a... It is a poor excuse for an elder sister, but in another... Uh, this is... They didn't fix the English. They didn't fix it. I'm a poor excuse for an elder sister. Yeah, this is, this is bad English. They didn't fix it. I am, I, I am not very confident in this. Can they fix it in time? The entire script, in time for the full release side. I'm, I'm worried. I'm more than a little bit worried. So, you know, as is very common in this game, we are completely surrounded. Yeah, that was quick. Enemies everywhere. So, finally, we have Objective Survive. Now they're teaching us we can change our weapon. So we're going to go ahead and do that. here and then here should this one first Go ahead and end the turn. Luckily, they can't shoot for shit. Except the snipers. The snipers are scary. The snipers are very scary. Attention, squad T8. Our targets are on the plateau. Snipers are to provide cover while the rest of you come with me. So the good thing is that they're coming one at a time, which is, it's very good for us. It is very, very good for us. I didn't shoot this guy. Target locked on. And we can one shot him. And that'll give us time to set up trip mines. Where's the farthest you can run? This way. Hmm. 
We'll have Jeff D shoot them in the face. Yeah. Shoot you too. Hopefully the snipers don't move for now. If they do move, Jeff D might be in a little bit of trouble. Gotta move, guys, I gotta move. Oh yeah, there's a lot of them going that way. Two more commandos. And a bunch of group people from the east. We can shoot this barrel, but I don't want to do it yet. There's only two enemies. I prefer getting more enemies with one barrel. And use steady shot. Oh no. That might be a problem. How far can you run? Yeah, that's a problem. That is a problem. What do I do? I can set up a... A sentry. A turret to shoot him. It's not ideal though. I prefer having the turrets with us. Mm. It'll be a good distraction, I guess. We have two turrets. We can spare one. The good thing is, she is not in the danger zone. I think. Oh, she might be. Because of this, this sniper over here. Ah, I always forget about them. Mendo can throw a, a turret over there, though. Out of range? Yeah, these snipers are really annoying. Go ahead and use a grenade. At least his area is locked down pretty good. In case she gets shot at, I'll use... No. She should be fine. Alright, ending turn. Hey, our, it looks like our turret survived. Well, one of them anyway. 
And there's more enemies. These ones are the elite commandos. Priority, they prioritize the lowest HP. So they're basically all the elite enemy units will always go after Jeff T. And yeah, there's a bunch of them. And, you know, in true Russian fashion, blow up the houses. What if we kill the targets by mistake? My order is naturally sanctioned by the colonel. Just do what I say and blow up the houses. Now we've got holographic gravel. So it's not real gravel, it's just... It's... Gravel that looks real. And is incredibly convincing. So let's take this... Hmm... What do we do? What do we do here? We're gonna go ahead and shoot this guy. Wait, what? Ah, oh, no, we missed. That was not good. Not good at all. Since we can be attacked here, we might as well use this barricade. That'll slow them down. Good thing is that the snipers haven't really moved yet. So we're still relatively safe. Go ahead and shoot that guy. And we're, we should be safe in this spot for now. Terrible movies? What sort of movies? <clears throat> oh yeah, they're... They're shooting rockets at us now. Missile incoming. That's not good. That's really not good. The good thing is that we're able to clear out the enemies on this side pretty easily.
bad thing is that there's so many of them on this side. We're in trouble. There's so many enemies on this side. Okay, yeah, Jeffy needs to move way back. Okay, these guys cannot attack us yet. It's these dudes. Let's throw some more gravel. Some more holographic gravel. And we'll go on to this spot and, and we're gonna pray. We're gonna pray. Still have premonition on, so that's good. Friend watched a 1970s disaster movie about a blimp. Got me into reading about disaster films. They swarm about killer bees. Oh jeez. Not the bees! Not the bees! Ah, uh, what? That is a... That is the worst luck. My trip might only hit one person. That's just the worst. And they really are just gunning for Jeff T. They don't even care about Mendo. Okay, we have one more round that we need to survive. Which is perfectly fine with me. Let's die, Jobu. Dies of this. Tabun, dies of this. Could do this. Though. Honestly, it's better for us to. She needs to move. I can't ha I can't let her get shot by the missiles. We only have one gun station. Uh, hmm. If I shoot this, I'll have seven AP. And I need 6 AP to move back down. Alright, let's do that then. Shoot this guy. We'll shoot that. And with this we should be able to move back down. Well, we can either move down or we can... How much do these snipers hit for? Well, actually, we have no choice. There's rockets here. They're coming this way. We have no choice. We have to run. We still have... We don't have danger with premonition anymore. Because someone shot at us. It's fine. Right, Mendo. It's time to blast people. We don't even need to blast anybody. I mean, the important thing is for you to get away, but it's kind of hard to do with all these enemies around. Okay, 
Let's move. Oh, that's gonna use up a lot of our points. Not ideal. Very much not ideal. We do have a stun grenade. We do have a flashbang that we can use. Let's do that. Can take the time to shoot this guy. Wait, missed. Um, shoot him again. And with that, we should be golden. This game is more about fulfilling your objectives than necessarily killing everybody. Because in some maps you just can't do it. So we have survived! Objective survive completed. It's not a frame of film, not a twist of plot, not a line of dialogue, not a performance in this one. It's just real appreciation for Helm history. Only a slavish desire to imitate it. Wow! That is some scathing critique. Damn it, why are the targets still loose? Keep calling in reinforcements. Yeah, that's just... At the end of the day, just call more, more troops to burn. We can't stay here. So we're gonna jump! Jump with me. Phew, that was close. I think we've shaken them off. There's probably more enemies. And right on cue. He knew they might run this way and set up an ambush beforehand. And so we're backed into a corner. The only way for us is to fight our way out. She'll take the west and I'll take the east. Even if they're damaged, I can still repair them instantly. Quickly, if we need to make it out of alive, uh, we need to hurry up. Desperate times, desperate measures. It's time to use her special abilities. Wait, did they change it? Miracle Manifesto. Decreases the consumption of normal attacks and universally boosts abilities. Uh, Mendo. Mechanical Rampage. Repairs damage, damaged turrets and boosts the output of simple machine gun turrets. So we're going to go ahead and use Declaration of Miracle. I, I guess they can't decide if they want it to be Miracle Manifesto or Declaration of Miracle. Call. Personally, I think Declaration of Miracle sounds cooler. Go ahead, go ahead and do that. Shoot this guy. Heck, we can even shoot that guy too. over here. Pick this up. Besides a mysterious girl in Atuna, how is this game's waifu game? <laughs> there's there's some more waifu characters. There's Liga, if you're into that sort of thing. You know, I don't judge. Um, some people enjoy lollies. I, I don't judge. Um, there's Sugar, who is an antagonist. And there's probably more female characters. We we just haven't met them yet. I mean, there's also the T-Dolls from Girls Frontline. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and use our ability. Can we... Do we have any turrets left? We do not. They're both broken. So we're gonna go ahead and use his ability. Mechanical Rampage. What the... Oh. Oopsies! They were up here the whole time. Oh! I'm dumb. 
I am really done. It's fine, they still have the ability set up with them. They still have the mechanical rampage on them, so go ahead and blast this guy. We got a sight from him, which is very nice. Um, want this guy to move forward. So we're gonna go ahead and go here. this up here and we're gonna move forward ouch they shot Jeff T that's fine she's a tough girl Jeff is gonna finish them off. Oh yeah, they, they brought more snipers. We don't have to time we don't have time to deal with snipers. And oh no! I think that's because I didn't upgrade Jeff T. She doesn't do a lot of damage. You've gotta be kidding me. Oh no. I'm getting trolled. I'm getting trolled. I'm getting trolled so hard right now. The game is trolling me. Oh my goodness. This is the worst. So dumb. Oh. Okay, let's redo this. Okay. Yeah, the, the turrets were broken. My brain is not working. Put this here, put this there. Blast him. He's not dead. Why isn't he dead? Why is he not dead? My brain is... It might be particularly small today. Close those, close those. Okay, we actually use the ability this time. Um, today is just not my day. Right. Looked up sugar, nice teeth. Yeah, she's she's got a interesting design. Frankly, it looks a little bit goofy to me. You know, your mileage may vary. And there go our turrets.
Okay, hopefully we can finish this off. Yeah, this is not looking great. Run this way. Throw a grenade. Uh, this is not looking great. Yeah, this is not good. They messed up. Okay, we still have one round. Defeat three enemy units within three rounds. So, yeah, we're 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 still alive somehow. Jeff T, you need to move. Hopefully, she doesn't get splattered by the rockets. Um, hopefully. She did get splattered by the rockets. I, I completely underestimated how strong those things are. Oof. All right. Completely underestimated the rocket strength. Right. What, what can we do? How strong is are you? Thirty three damage. All right, we've got thirty five HP. Should be fine. So the game's full name is Reverse Codename Collapse Codename Big. Yeah. Well, the original name was um, Bakery Girl, Codename Bakery Girl, and they wanted to keep that, but they also wanted to have a more serious name that reflected their new brand image, which is Reverse Collapse. But they couldn't make up their minds, so <laughs> that's why you have that. I used to have the full name in. The t my stream title, but it's kind of wordy, so I shortened it down. I'm gonna shoot you. Yeah. I'm gonna throw out. Throw this out. Shoot you. All right, this should work. I hope. I'm praying. I'm praying that this works. Oh my goodness. It's because I didn't upgrade Jeffy's rifle. We're gonna... I have no idea what I'm doing now, right now. I have no idea. Okay, we did it. It's 
took enough tries. It's no undernight inverse. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a. Sometimes I really do wonder what's going on with the marketing teams. All right, chapter one over. That took much longer than I intended. A reminder, this is the hardest difficulty. Wait, what is it? The enemies aren't here yet. Let's... No. The voice around here. Why am I not seeing? I'm not hearing anything. Uh, oh yeah, here's the other waifu. Crap, watch out. It's kind of scary though. Yeah, we just got shanked. Mendo! Damn it, my pendant! This photo. Mendo, can you stand? Forget about me, just run. You think I can get out of this? So this is how it ends. But you don't seem to care at all. Death is no stranger to me. I'll find a way to save you next time when we meet again. Next time? Though it's hard to understand, it actually makes me feel safe. Thank you, Miss Bakery. Like I said, stop calling me Bakery. But you never even told me what to call you. My name is Jeff T. Give me your grenades. I'm sorry, Mendo, but we've got to die here, yeah. I wish a girl would could say that to me. <laughs> this is like, you know, this is when you know you're loved. We've got to die. So long as my will is passed on, we'll surely be able to go further next time. And I won't let you fall here. I'll see you on the other side. It's all down to you, the next Shefty. And that's how chapter one ends with um, a double suicide. So I've got a replay mode. I can go back and, you know, fix the issues that I had before with not doing S rank. You know, there's collectible items that they show here that I haven't gotten, but you know, it's fine. All right, let's go to the next chapter. Next chapter replay will be turned off temporarily and will turn back on after you finish the next chapter. Okay, that's interesting. So I guess they'll let you replay stuff whenever you need to but only in be in between chapters oska you're still here i wonder if oska's another waifu why are you still here this is the end of the world all thanks to you everything has been destroyed how did you get here i've already closed every door i came in before you destroyed everything because i'm you after all you're not me you're just a copy I'm your shadow. I'm you, but stronger. <laughs> I won't disappear as long as you still exist. Don't forget, each individual of you has their own thought in each possibility. Why don't you share your memories with them if you don't want any accidents? No, I would never do that. <sighs> Why can't you accept reality? Let's change the topic then. You still haven't answered my question yet. Why are you still here? Here I thought it was a very dramatic demo ending scene. This is where the closed beta ended. But the demo went further. And I think this new demo is going to go even further. With Zion under your control, you already have divine power. You could even start over completely if you wanted. Why do you have to struggle in vain here at this juncture? So Oska is basically saying, well, because you have the ability to, um, basically Zion is like some sort of higher plane of existence um, that transcends time and space. 
So basically, Jefty has the ability to go send her memories back in time. So Oska's asking her, well, why are you... Why are you trying to... To change the outcome at this point? Why don't you just go earlier? And, and change things from the beginning? Why are you doing it here? Why are you doing it now? And that's a good question. Why, are, why is she putting so much effort into fighting all these hundreds and hundreds of soldiers when she could just go further back in time and prevent this from happening to begin with? And all she says is dot dot dot. <laughs> Probably the only reason is no matter how much you try, the ending of the world remains the same. So even if you start again, you'll still end up like this. Am I right? Seems I'm right. You must feel lonely here. So let me be your company. Shut up. Do you know what I want? No matter what you want, I won't let you succeed. So yeah, she's kind of fighting with herself here. Oh! <laughs> Got a cinematic. Okay, that was pretty cool. That was really cool. That was really cool. They they changed some of it because this was the rich one of the original trailers. They they changed some of the scenes and whoa, they, we had a little bit of a end of Evangelion end of Evangelion Ray stuff going on. So wow, <laughs> did you see? Did you guys see that with like the 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 you know. The Jeffdies like growing limbs out of. Uh, it looked a little bit grotesque. <laughs> so, memories are pouring in. So, effectively, Jeffdy has traveled back in time. Jeffdy absolutely did die, but um, this new Jeffdy has the memories, and she'll be like, okay, let's not do that. <laughs> let's do something different this time. Attention all units, this is the last one. Exterminate it. So she's basically... Well, she has superhuman reflexes, but also because she sent her memories back in time, she knows exactly where the enemies are going to be. So that's why she was able to get them all so quickly. I also would have accepted Akira esque. Yes! There was that uh, the Akira esque part too. Jefty is the thing! Uh, oh no! <laughs> I mean, Jefty basically is an alien, so maybe she could. It, it wouldn't be inappropriate to call her the thing. Though, I'm not sure. Is that. The thing seems like it might be more dehumanizing than bakery. The enemy deployment is just like before. I think we can deal with him easily with a rocket launcher. I don't know where she pulled that out of, but <laughs> she's got a rocket. <laughs> now she's going to head over and save Mendo. 
Of course, no matter what happens, Mendo always get gets RPG'd. Oh, hey, I like how the, the soldier on the left side here shuffles around. Our poor friend, um, totally a rescue worker, is lying in a pool of his own blood over on the right side as well. We're totally rescue workers, guys. New orders from above. Clean up the battlefield and return to base. Ew. Did you hear that? That sloshing sound? Gross. Phew. And no, she doesn't have to ask about the first aid kit. Take this and treat your injuries quickly. Next time this happens, she's gonna... She's not even gonna let him treat himself. Next time she's gonna treat him with her own hands. For sure. For sure that's what's gonna happen. He's, defrost, he's defrosting her tsundere. Listen, I knew you have a lot of questions, but time is short. So I'll only say this once. I'm Bakery. We got exposed. Fox 2-2 was destroyed. Your squad's dead too. Now come with me. <laughs> Come with me if you want to live! Your NCs and reinforcements will be here any minute. Don't use that code name and don't call me Miss. Wait, wait up! So in chapter 2, Jefty's basically dragging Mendo around. She's not even going to give him, let him catch his breath. If we keep going in this direction, we'll reach the valley. If what you said is true, we'll be able to see the bridge very soon. We're short on time. Ignoring my question again, huh? You seem to be in a rush. I'm not the only one trapped in the Yorin season circlement, am I? Check your satellite phone. <laughs> He's like, can you? <laughs> You're right! Like you said, a call came. Are you, are you, are you like a mind reader? How did you know? Can you see the future? He's like, uh, uh okay. <laughs> you seem to know everything. I only know what I know. I, she's not lying, but like the way that she says it makes you think it's something else. Now, can you tell me what you're planning to do? So yeah, basically we need to get to the safe house without alerting the guards this time. So once again, she jailbreaks his, um, his material shuttle. He's like, oh, I should go grab some supplies. She's like, no, I already got them for you. <laughs> Why are you bossing me around? I'm obviously more aware. And I'm not in a hurry to die. <laughs> we don't want to waste time. So if you look at the time, we actually have gotten to this area sooner. So that was the old route and it was completely shattered. And we've got a bigger backpack. All right. So what can we make now? We can make medkits. We can make the blaster. Which moves enemy units one block. Oh. This item is unavailable for certain heavy or stationary units. Okay. So basically it repositions enemies. I don't know exactly how to use this thing yet. That'll take some experimentation. And we've got holographic gravel. So, with item crafting in this game, you can produce things. So low level items, most consumables, you produce them using raw material. And for synthesis, you have to take items that you've produced or found and combine them. And it also costs money. So we're gonna build some gravel. Built blaster. I don't think we need those, but it's good to have them. Let's see. 
Now we can go ahead. Unit is in the center. So I, I feel like the blaster might be useful for certain applications. Like maybe we can push enemies off the ledges into an into a hole. Or well actually I have no idea. For now let's upgrade our trip mines. It is very useful to have a stronger trip line. And each time you upgrade things, you upgrade your tech level. And that unlocks certain items you can only upgrade if you have a certain tech level. So you can't just focus on one item. The game won't let you. I love the intermission. <laughs> Chef is practicing her knife foo. Let's see. We don't have to upgrade blueprints, but we have a scope for Chefty's rifle, and we have another red dot. Excellent. Upgrading any skill will increase the Nucleo base completion um, of their ultimate skill. Ultimate skills enhance when each phase reaches 100%. Basically, every time you upgrade your skills, it'll go towards a progress bar for upgrading your ultimate. Let's see, can we do anything here? Not yet. Okay, so the next map is the dreaded bridge, but this time things will be easier. Narrow escape. We're here. We can see the bridge from right here. Let me confirm the route. So yeah, because we're here, I believe either one or two hours earlier than before, the snow storm is not going to let up yet. So it's, it's interesting, right? How the same scenario changes just because a little bit of time is different. We're here two hour, one or two hours earlier because we've been hustling. And so we can just sneak across the entire bridge because the snow is still blowing. According to the plan of retreat, we need to catch up with the refugee car. There's an electric barrier. Just punch us in. So she memorized the password. Once the barrier is down, destroy the control room on this side, then cross the bridge. I mean, that's pretty amazing that she was able to completely memorize the password. Avoid exchanging fire. Seems I need to prove myself. She's like, yeah, he's like, yeah, this is, there's no problem. I'll just stealth my way through. I'm a professional. And she's like, dot, dot, dot. Last time you, you got us into a firefight. <laughs> you got shot several times. Achieve the objective within 15 rounds. Sniper did not deal damage to ally characters. Pick up all supplies. He's like, uh, yeah, you're very professional. You totally didn't get shot up last time. All right, so what we got to do, one person has to make it over there, another person has to make it over there. Okay. Wait, who's watching this? Oh, it doesn't matter. It's you. Okay. 
So we'll just stealth. Oh yeah, this guy is scary. Because he can look down. I'll have to make note of that. This person is on a path like that. As long as we don't stay here, we'll, we'll be okay. Yeah. Actually, wait, we could just... Why did we... Why didn't we just unstealth? Right. And now we need to make it across this area through these trees. Well, I can't deny it's a clever way to reuse a map. It's very clever. I like that they... Even the idea of safe scumming is... It's part of the story. They can just hand wave it as... Oh, Jefty is just... Um, it's, it's just Jefty sending her memories back in time. Forgetful dumbass. He probably didn't check the roster again. Let's go find him. Hurry up, Robin. If you mess up the roster again, the captain is definitely going to kick you to the logistics and have you wash the vegetables. I know, I know. I promise it won't happen again. Robin is a very funny name because Robin is actually... I believe it's the cover name that um, the commander from Girls Frontline uses. So that's a nice easter egg. But changing shifts. We've got to cross the bridge before the next shift takes over. That actually turned off the electronic barrier. Hurry up. And these guys are like, hmm, what's wrong? With the barrier, did it short out again? Okay. This guy's gonna... Luckily the game's telling us exactly where this guy's headed. So we can just move accordingly. There's another guy. Likewise, he is moving this way. So we need to get out of his path. Ooh. Yeah, it's funny how, like, because of the snow, he can't see even two blocks ahead of him, if people are kneeling down. The snow must be really bad. Have you guys ever been in a, in a heavy snowstorm before? It can be really bad with uh, visibility. Go this way. And there's more enemies. Weather's just turned out to be so lousy when it's my turn to patrol. Can't see a damn thing. Where is he headed? Okay, he's just patrolling this way. Let's go up here. And this time we're gonna go up here, which is where the refugee car is supposed to be. Yeah, hang on, Betty. We're gonna come see you. Supposedly no one can see us now. So 
So we're gonna go ahead and uh, it's not worth it to stay in stealth. One, two, three. So if he's here, one, two, three. Wait. One, two, three. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. There's another guy right there. Where I live, it hasn't snowed since 1989. Oh. I mean, that's a good thing and a bad thing, right? It depends. Do you like snow? Or do you prefer things to be warmer? One, two, three. Okay, we can walk up here. Oh, no, we cannot. We cannot do that. Yeah, we just have to wait. Because there's a guy up there. We're just gonna have to wait. Alternatively, we could have used the tranquilizer, but I want to avoid using the tranquilizer as best I can. Yeah, this guy's still here. Now since we're in the woods, we can stand up again. And... Go up here. I've only really seen it when I visited New York in February. Haven't minded it as long as I'm bundled, bundled up, yeah. I was in another VTuber stream lately and they said that they only like rain. They like thunderstorms, but only when they're inside all cozy and warm, right? I think I am similar, except I actually do enjoy snowstorms, even when I'm outside. Um, it's kind of dangerous and it's miserable, but I, I quite enjoy it. The cold feels all right to me. We've just picked up a uh, single cheat energy bar. Um, by eating it, our accuracy and critical rate are increased to... to... to what? <laughs> Game! W what do my accuracy and critical increase to? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> this isn't a typo, they just straight up forgot to, <laughs> to finish the sentence. Did get confused by dirty snow, like, oh, that happens. Yeah, snow can get dirty. Absolutely. So, I know there's going to be a battle happening here because there is an oil drum. Look at that! Classic red drum. Shoot, it blows up. And it's a machine for some reason. I don't know why the game says it's a machine. Alright, so now we just walk up. And we triggered another scene. Jeff! So, it seems like the garrisons from before were all Russian, but these garrisons because the Rosartrists are a globalist organization. Uh, it seems these guys are Western Europeans or Americans. Jeff sounds very American though. Jeff, time for the scheduled patrol. Yeah, one should be warring up inside with some wine in this goddamn weather. Okay, probably French. <laughs> French or British. I don't think an American would talk about wine. 
Where's Ivan? Huh. <laughs> He's most likely slipped out alone to have a good time. Let's go and get this over with. Enemies are coming this way. Let's head into the woods and avoid them. I hate these godforsaken snowy mountains. It's too cold up here. Let's get inside to warm up. Jeff. No, wait. Who the hell are you? Yeah, and we've been spotted. I'm sorry. I was afraid he would hurt you. We need to move. You thought you were a hero, huh? Well, don't get sucked into a battle. Just find a chance to go through the woods. Enemies will catch up with us soon. We can slow them down if we set up some barricades. Suspicious people found in the southwestern woods. Intercept them. So it seems that they also have collapsed technology because they were able to deploy some rudimentary barricades. Though it's not on the same level as ours. So they do not see... No, they do see us. Yeah, they know exactly where we are. So, we don't want to get hit by any snipers. That is our condition for this part of the map game. Go ahead and put a scanner here. So we know that there's no snipers here. There could be snipers here, here, or here. So we have to make sure we get rid of this guy. The good part is that the enemies still don't really know where we are. Which is good. It is fine. We don't have any barricades though. We need to pick up these items to make barricades. So we needed to find a way to give them the slip. Uh, we don't want to be discovered. We don't know where these enemies are going. We just know that they are coming this way. Yeah, this is frustrating. them and so the enemies are going to try to find a way to get over to this um, turret now and put another turret down up here we'll shoot that guy and so now the enemies are drawn towards these two turrets Oh no, they've seen Mendo. Which is not good. Now they don't see him. They don't see him anymore. So hopefully, they will not come after us anymore. But they probably will. Who am I kidding? We have five rounds to make it to this part. Uh, let's hope we make it. Now we can synthesize a barbed wire barricade. Two of them, in fact. A sturdy barricade made of coils. Okay. So now that we have these barricades, we need to find a way to get out of sight. I probably already misplayed this one, but... Uh, eh, eh. It's fine. Ooh. 
We've been discovered. Oh yeah, that is not good. Gonna have to check out and sleep. Leave the stream running though. All right. Good night, Chivity. Is it late right now? It's... All right, it, it is kind of late. So probably I'm gonna end the stream after this mission. And I'll finish the rest of the demo next stream. Okay, this is not ideal. Very much not ideal. All we can do is... This is probably not the best way to do this. Can you move? Well, you've already been spotted, so I might as well get up. Put a barricade there. And maybe we can make a run for it. We're just gonna hope the enemy forgets we exist. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. They've got a big old barricade, it's shiny. It's gonna draw their attention. Oh shoot, they blew it up. Not good. Not good. Okay. We're just gonna run. We'll give them another barricade to chew on. And then we're gonna... We don't have enough... SP for her to use her ultimate. That's not good. Oh, we didn't build any trip mines. I wonder we're having so much trouble. Okay, let's throw out one grenade. Run for it. Throw down another grenade. Yeah, this is not ideal. All right, we're we're in the forest now, and hopefully they'll just chew on the barricade. The important part is that we don't get hit by a sniper. Uh, uh, <laughs> this is not good. 
I think we might have to restart this one. Yeah, this is pretty bad. Shoot. Uh-huh. That's not good. We have two rounds left. So. <laughs> no, Mendo, don't die. Okay, Mendo, we're gonna make a run for it. <laughs> gonna make a run for it. Uh, we did it! <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, the song. How did you get to play this? There was was there a closed beta test? Yeah, there, there was a closed beta test like two months ago, and then there was a demo last month. And actually, um, there's another demo right now. You can download this game right now if you want. It's on Steam. You can actually download it right now. Jeffy, how things are? How far are things? Is, how far away is a refugee transport shop? There's a highway about four kilometers from here. The stop is right by the highway. Yeah, you can get it right now. It's part of the Steam Strategy Fest. So even though I completely fumbled that, we still got an S rank. Just saw the download. Yeah, no problem. How are you doing? How's it? The game is excellent. They they added a cinematic trailer to it. Or not trailer. They added, they added a an opening movie to it. They added some new flash forward points as well. So it's it's really like, whoa, what's going on? They fixed some of the English, but frankly, there's still a lot of problems with the English translation that really need to be fixed. I, I don't I'm I'm a little worried I don't I'm not confident it can be fixed in time for the release yeah Mendo is the main character Mendo is there's two main characters Mendo is the boy main character but the the story really centers around Jeff T the female lead this is honestly her story much more than Mendo's we haven't run into any more URNC soldiers on the way. Looks like we've escaped from this encirclement. But also Mendo has a lot of significance to the the lore of this. Well, they both have a lot of significance to the lore. But Mendo, he's actually related. He's re he's related to the family of the main villain from Girls Frontline. Is this before Girls Frontline? If this was made before Girls Frontline, but it, it actually takes place after Girls Frontline. It takes place after Girls Frontline 2, in fact. Uh, give me one moment, I need to go to the toilet.
Hello back, my name is Yata no Hakuya. I feel like a lot of games and movies do that. They release a story, then when it gets famous, they release the previous story. I kind of hate it because it feels like a spoiler. Well, I mean... <laughs> to be fair, they made this game first, then they made Girls Frontline. And they were, it, was, it was intended that Girls Frontline and this game were completely separate. But this was always the love child. Um, the passion project. Um, and eventually when Girls Frontline ended up becoming really successful, they're like, hey, why don't we actually continue Girls Frontline? Because Girls Frontline was supposed to end about two years, two or three years into its production. But it got ended up getting pretty famous and successful, so they're like, eh, let's continue it. And let's, let's uh, combine it with this story. So this is a remake. This is a remake of a... This is a remake of a game that they made before they made Girls Frontline. But this is actually the sequel. This is like the far sequel. It's so far off that it's... They're barely connected. Girls Frontline takes place... Well, Girls Frontline... It goes... Girls Frontline... Girls Frontline 2, and then now Reverse Collapse. They had several bakery girl stories, right? Yeah, they had one called Girl at the Bakehouse, which was a visual novel. And I'm gonna read that together with my sister, uh, Kuroko Imai. If you don't know who she is, she is um, a fellow a fellow VTuber who is drawn by uh, Min's Graph, so she's my VTuber sister. Um, she also covers Girls Frontline material. And we're, we're going to read the visual novel together. So there's the girl at the bakehouse. And then they made, they retooled that and they rewrote that story into Bakery Girl. And this game is a remake of Bakery Girl. Also having to run this, having this run on work computer as we speak. Oh, it works. Nice. So every time they did it, they changed the story. And this story is expanded heavily from Bakery Girl. They changed some things too, and they added in things from Girls Frontline, which we're gonna see really soon. How are you not even the slightest bit out of breath? It wasn't that much exert. He's like, oh, I didn't even break a sweat. Weren't you all cocky just now? And he's like, I was the best long distance runner in the service. <laughs> wow. So she's some sort of super athlete. I've always been very confident in my physical fitness. You're just ridiculous. Well, sorry for <laughs> sorry for blowing out your confidence. Now back to business. When is a refugee transport coming? Sex between? Oh my goodness! Get, no, no, I, I need to. Don't make me get out the hammer, okay? No horny. We're just we're here to be happy, not horny. Although Jeff T is really nice. She's very cute, albeit she's kind of, you know, covered in dirt and grime <laughs> from fighting uh, a guerrilla war. She's kind of filthy. <laughs> Need to, first thing to do is throw her in a bath. <laughs> Let me see, our timing is spot on. Should be about right now. Oh, speak of the devil. Give me your gun. Why? So I can collapse it into the material shuttle. You think you can blend in civilians carrying a gun? Don't worry, I have no interest in antique guns. I'll give it back once we get off. You'd better. And put on this cape, you look too conspicuous. From now on, we must keep a low profile. Let me talk. Hey, stop! Ayo, hey do you require assistance? Are you squad G62 at the 27th Rescue Team Subdivision? We need your help. Huh? Identify yourselves. How do you know our squad designation? We are also members of the Refugee Mutual Aid Organization. But we got separated from our squad. Are you the captain? I need to talk to whoever's in charge. Oh, I see, I'll go fetch the captain right now. Captain, hey Cap! <laughs> IDW Danya. She's here, she's here! Not so loud, Ruby. You almost punctured my eardrums. I'm Captain with Squad G. You may call me Betty. <laughs> there she is! Oh, I'm so glad to see her again. She's looking great for a, 
a 40 something year old robot and you are I'm Hester and this is my little sister uh, Lisa we're in squad F201 but something happened and now we're separated from the main force we would like to hitch a ride and return to the security zone this is my ID card Authorizations recognized. Identity authenticated. Welcome aboard, Mr. Hester Leon. What did you do? Each of us has a perfectly legitimate fake identity. This wouldn't have worked on rescue, regular rescue dolls, but the leader of this squad just so happens to be an outdated dolls. <laughs> an outdated doll. Yeah, Betty is a second generation T doll. All the way back, made in like the late 2050s. The current year is 2092. She is ancient. She is a gilf by now. <laughs> Girl frontline cuts? Yes, they are. Dolls without NeuroCloud. Yeah, I know they fucked up. The translation fucked up. Won't suspect a colleague with verifiable legal identity. This is a bad translation. Um, they did not fix it. I. Ferrari's probably screaming right now. Um, this isn't supposed to say dolls without NeuroCloud, but rather with an outdated NeuroCloud like hers, she wouldn't be able to suspect us. So it goes. So the funny thing about NeuroCloud is that NeuroCloud actually takes place during Girls Frontline. But it is. You're going into a backup server. So you're kind of going back in time, but not really. It's like, it's like in NeuroCloud, you're in girls, it's the middle of girls frontline. And you're basically reading, you're basically reading a diary. In effect, you're basically like reading a diary in girls frontline and that's NeuroCloud. So it, it doesn't take place. It doesn't actually take place, you know, before it takes place in a digital backup of a server. So commander during girls frontline is going into NC and then yes, um, it's, they're going into NC. Then they go back to girls frontline, I think. And then they go to girls frontline too. Something like that. Dolls without neural cloud. Yeah, yeah, this is a bad translation. Get in. So here we get to meet a couple characters. We've got a little kid, we've got a granny, and she's kind of based. The granny is pretty based. And then we've got funny guy with a big hat. Guy's anxious. So if you've ever, you know, seen a zombie flick, you'd know something's very wrong with this guy. He's very on edge. He's too anxious. What is he so worried about? This is telltale zombie flick behavior of someone who is infected. They're either really depressed or sad or very angry and irritable. And here he is. What a ruckus. Can't you make her shut up? Take it easy, Yuri. We'll be there soon. See, you're scaring the children. <laughs> Who cares about the brats? We've been stuck on this coach for ages. We were told it wouldn't take long, but we'll keep stopping along the way. See, a normal person, right, when they're being rescued, they wouldn't care. You know, they, they just say, oh, we're going to get rescued. We're already on the bus. We're going to be fine. But this guy is like, why are we stopping? Why? What's going on? He's clearly not doing okay. And now we've picked up two weird fellows. Who are you calling weird? I mean, two of you behaving all shifty and obviously not from around. This is very telltale zombie infected behavior. And I saw the chick's hair. It's white. He looked, it looks like a irradiated freak. I'm going to report you the moment I get. I, what are you doing? Say that again. <laughs> Stop it, brother. We're just making it back to the rescue team. Yeah, she's an albino, man. Why you have to why you have to hate on white hair, huh? Why you gotta hate on white hair? White hair is great. Fuck you.
I like how they give these NPCs who show up for a single chapter animated sprites. It's really nice. So we're going to... They're going to Mineral Water City, which is an actual place. Um, it's not going to be called Mineral Water City. Um, it's Mineral Water City in Russian, I believe. The actual name is in Russian, but it translates to this. It's a real place. Uh, in the Caucasus Mountains. So that's where these people are going in order to, um, before they go to the green zones, they're going to go there as a temporary place to check for their infection levels. That asshole called you a freak. For some reason, I just, yeah. Mendo is, he's simping hard. hours later. What's going on? Someone's stopping the coach. Stop. Routine inspection. Soon we'll see the URNC play soldier who plays Toho on Lunatic while Blackout drunk in his spare time. <laughs> what are you talking about? Plays Toho on Lunatic. Guy who dodges bullets. Is there is there such a is there such a person? It's just a regular refugee checkpoint. Non-standard issue weapons are hard to trace. Why not go for an automatic weapon? Isn't a traditional rifle a bit inefficient? I fell in love with this rifle <laughs> the moment I saw it. It just feels right in my hands, so I have no desire to wield anything. She's not wielding a 200-year-old rifle because of any particular reason other than she fell in love with the gun. <laughs> she fell in love with the 200-year-old the, the garbage rod. <laughs> I don't know how to spell HK416's name in GF2. Yeah, it's Klukai. Um, I don't know what Klukai means, but they've decided her name is Klukai. Or I just say Clucky. And he's even a little bit freaked out by it. He's like, whoa, this girl's weird. And of course, the, the guy is scaring the baby again. And here's Abigail. Gosh, she looks really good too. I really like the uniforms they're wearing. It's really nice. Did you see it? Guys, did you see it? If, if we get if we see Abigail's sprite again I'll point it out look at that look at that she's actually got the Griffin and Cougar patch on her jacket right there underneath the Red Cross. Yo, what's going on? What's going on? Does Griffin and Cougar still exist? Because in, in Girls Frontline 2, Griffin and Cougar is just you. Um, I wonder what's going on here. When can we finally be on our way? So someone here is infected. They scanned the truck and they found out someone is infected. And obviously, it is the guy who is very angry and irritable. 
and impatient. Impatient. He knows he's infected, so he's, you know, acting all weird. The commander in GF continued. Uh, yeah, pretty much. And he's like, it's not me. It's not. It's you. It must be one of you. Go out there right now. Now that I think about it, we haven't been through any ever since you came on board. It must be you. Uh, don't try to don't try to push the blame on me. That's right. Well, these two, they haven't gone through any inspection points either. It's got to be them. Don't rush. Would everyone please calm down? There's no need to remain, be alarmed. It isn't such a big problem. As I said, when each of you come came aboard, this coach would only transport people with minor infections. Serious cases would be picked up by special transports arranged by our organization. I don't know why you would want to deceive us, but please be rest assured that our organization will not leave anyone behind. So, they do have some form of vaccine. Unfortunately, um, our friend here, Yuri, decided he didn't want to wait and snuck on board anyway, despite having a serious infection. Gotta go. Hope you have a great stream. Good luck. Have a great one. All right. See you around, Oji-san. Goddamn tin can. And they surrounded us. I've authorized these dolls to attack humans. <laughs> he hacked into them and he's basically saying, yeah, you guys can shoot them if you want. Your work must be exhausting. Here are some small gifts from our rescue team. I'm sure your officers have more important things to do. So we're basically giving them She's bribing them with collapse crystals. Yeah. So now we need to grab they're like, okay. You've bribed us, but we still need to. We, need, we still need one of your people. We still need one of your. Detain one of you guys so that we look like we're doing our job. And he's like, please don't make this difficult for us. If no one volunteers to stay behind, I'm afraid everyone will have to get off. And Yuri's freaking out. Mountain in the back makes me think of the logo for Coors. You know, Coors is probably better than what we have in Canada. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of Molson. And there everyone's like, please, Yuri, be a hero. Get off for our sake. He's like, why me? You're a grown man. Don't You don't expect me or Auntie Dana to stay behind, do you? There are also these two. That's right. The white-haired freak. She can stay. That'll be perfect. Get away from her. Dear Lord, look at his arm. It's completely silsificated. That's still really hard to... That's still really hard to say. Silsificated. I knew something was off about you. You lied to us. I'm in perfect health. Slander! And now he's um, freaking out. Guards! This man has lost his composure. Stay away from my children. Get off the freaking coach now, asshole. No, I'm not infected. It's Sam. They're infected ones. What are you doing? Stay where you are. Don't come any closer. And, and they open fire. Yuri was very sus. Damn, we're in trouble. Shut up. That idiot dug his own grave. I don't have time to explain this to the higher-ups. You have no idea what a pain these humanitarian organizations are. They don't have to know about this. Go tell the vice chief that an infected one tried to break through. We need him here. We'll wait for the order, of course. How dare you let a severely infected on? You must be up to something. Can't be helped. And... There's a firefight now.
All right, this is kind of curious. <laughs> We're ending the stream pretty much around the same time as we did last time. <laughs> I, I thought I could get here much faster, but it's been almost five hours. So we're probably going to end this here. But yeah, I hope I was able to showcase the game. I'm going to continue this run. Um, I don't know when, actually. I, I need to think about it. I'll... Maybe Wednesday. Maybe Wednesday I'll continue this run. I'm very, 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 very curious to see what happens next. But I can't really do anything about it right now. Let's see, let's see. What time might start again? Similar time on Wednesday? Yes. Uh, probably a similar time. I've been experimenting with starting early in the morning, but I don't think it's a good idea for me to do morning streams. So around 7 p.m. Pacific. So that'll be Eastern. So that'll be 10 p.m. Eastern. I might start at 6 as well, but just keep your eyes out. I'll schedule it in advance and I'll post it on Twitter. But yeah. Uh, we're ending this pretty much in the same space, same time as we, our last run, um, a couple months ago. I'm a little bit surprised, but... Hey, the game looks great now. They added so much more detail. But there's still some issues with the translation. And that's, that's a very serious issue. I hope they are able to deal with it. But yeah, anyways... 9 p.m. Central. Hmm. You live in Central Time then. Huh. I've, I've been a little bit curious about where exactly my viewers actually live. It, it would help with my scheduling uh, if I knew. But yeah, the game looks a lot better. They, the, they added a new flashback or I guess flash forward area a flash forward stage they showcased some of the new skins um, they probably have more this time around I believe I think they may have added one new stage or it could be wrong I could be wrong I could be wrong but anyways thank you for coming to the stream um, my name is Yatino Hakuya I stream on Twitch and YouTube and I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow on Twitch. We're going to be doing some more Armored Core. But for this game, we'll probably do Wednesday. Uh, same time, 7 p.m. Pacific. Otsukare. Otsukare-sama. Hai. Otsuhaku. Otsu-raven. Otsu-cringe. Otsu-good-night. I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.